Well, hello and welcome. Welcome and hello. Today is actually Thursday, you guys. Fucking We're here Thursday. after a little bit of a break. We've got a special, a very special guest. You wouldn't even know that he just woke up from a nap. That's true. You did just wake up quick from a nap. 30. Quick 30. Just took a quick 30. But we have Beecher Coil Turd. Uh, just blowing clouds all over the office and we're gonna have oh, him with us the whole two hours We're kind of gonna do this like we did with Eric vinyl and vapor. We're gonna go through some of the segments of the vlog we have a Vape mail package one singular just Vape one. mail package just one, but we are gonna do beer. We are going to do a very random liquid tasting We're going to do a retro vaping We're gonna talk about what we've been vaping and then the majority of the time We're just literally gonna be hanging out with Beecher I don't know, talking, chilling. I have some sure. some real hardball questions for him. Don't waffle. We're gonna really me. put you on the spot. Really get uncomfortable. All right, cool. As uncomfortable as you can get. I cut my fingernails for this. You cut your fingernails just for this vlog? Just for this vlog. I knew it was gonna be a tough one, so I did <laughs> I knew it was going to be a tough one. Um, for those of you joining me on the replay, um, I can't do that thing anymore where I put all the timestamps down in the description. But after the vlog is over, with any luck, my man, Jeremy V, if you're in the house tonight, let me know, bro. Uh, we're going to have some timestamps down in the description or pinned in that first comment. But like I said, I think we have a pretty full vlog. There's few things that we don't have this week. We don't have that one favorite thing. I don't have my favorite thing that I like to do where I hear from one of my subscribers. It's the one thing I just couldn't get ready in time for viewer the vlog. And, and probably no viewer mail either. But everything else, everything else should be good to go. Everything else should be good to go. In fact, I guess since we don't have that one favorite thing, we should, should we start this vlog off with, uh, with beer? Let's do it. You want to just do you know this right it? out of the gate? This is a surprise to me, so I don't know. You don't know what beer this what is. Beer this and is. Beecher, you are a beer drinker, correct? Like you drink like crafty beer, and you and you appreciate. Uh, I do the brewed arts. I do. I like beer. You like beer. I like beer. But do you appreciate the brewed arts? I do. <laughs> I can get into it. Yeah, you will. You will because we're about to we're about to drink. I've been saving this beer for years. I just want you to know this. Really? Years I've been saving wow, this I beer. Wow, feel super special. It's my, my favorite beer changes, like, depending on who I'm talking to. Does that happen to you? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, because I'm not a dick, yeah. and I tell the truth always. Uh, well, this guy's coming over. I'm going to change my beer. It just depends on, like, because if I'm talking to beer people, then I say that this is my favorite beer. But if I'm talking to like the general proletariat of people who like don't really drink beer or anything like that. Yeah. So it goes like, from like oh, a I Corona like, to I like, like this. I like this. I like this. This is my favorite beer. This is my favorite beer. But really all of that's a lie because this I'm, is I'm my actual favorite effing beer of I'm all super time. Stoked. All and time. These fancy um, glasses too. We got, we got something and looking okay. If it's not, please someone text me. Otherwise, here we go. Let's do some beer. <laughs> This beer, ooh, it comes in a cardboard box. It's from Firestone Walker. I already know what it is. You already know what it is. Is it? You saw it. K, no, K, is it Kentucky Bourbon? Kentucky Bourbon? K K KBS. Oh, KBS? No. It's not. It's not. Okay. That's from Founders. Okay. That's a Founders beer. This is Firestone. That's a really good Stone. beer. This is Firestone Walker out of California, and it's a beer called um, Sticky Monkey. Never had it. Oh, I know. Few people oh have. Oh, my goodness. This is a 2016. I want you to just look at this date and appreciate this. 2016. Wow. Sticky Monkey. I didn't get a bottle opener, though. Do you have a bottle opener? Like on your keys Oh, or in anything? my back pocket? No. You don't? No. You really don't? No. All Should right. I grab one? Do you want to grab one? No, Here, that's you stay fine. with them. I'll go grab it. Just be, just you be with them. Yeah, for a second. Just for a hot second. I'll just read some chat real quick. Yeah. Addy Tooney, what's happening? We got Andy Ohms Distro in here. Danielle, hi, hello. Michelle Lynn, always nice. Who else we got in here? Oh, we got 
Mike Smiter, my favorite Canadian. Hello. Smiter Man. Smiter Man's in here. The wonderful Angela Garrity is in here. Hello. Wonderful Angela Garrity. Talk a little louder. Is this is this good? Can you guys hear me? Check. I'll just get really close to this. I'll put my nose right on this. How's that sound better? I turn you up. Is this good? One for good, two for start yelling. It's just what happens. You know, you have some dangle clacks. That's what this that's what it is when your mic's too low. It's a dangle clack. Yo yo. Yo yo. So here we go. There I see Jeremy V. What's up, Jeremy V? Appreciate you, bro. John Haymaker, what's so happening? We're gonna read a little bit. One's good. We're good. What did we do? Oh, one's good. One's, one's good. good. Sounds good. Now. It's better now. Thank you, Danielle. All right. If you I'd guys can't Danielle. hear me, then turn your uh, earplugs so up. So this is the beer we're gonna be drinking. This is Firestone Walker Sticky Monkey. It's not actually like a particular beer style. They created their own style for this beer. They created this beer and they said basically. This doesn't exist, so we're going to call it a Central Coast Quad. And Ooh. a Central Coast Quad isn't a thing. Outside of Firestone Walker, you're not going to buy a Central Coast Quad anywhere. But it's styled after a Belgian Quad, okay. which happens to be my favorite beers of all time. But if we read this, notes, it has been, it has been said that the only constant change... What? It has nope. been said that the only constant is change. And the same is true for barrel-aged beers. Cut from a similar recipe, this barrel-aged quad evolves and shows a different face for each year. The result of time spent aging in a barrel. How do you say that? Turbid Terminato. Turbinado? It's a raw sugar cane sugar. Oh. And you know about that because you were a chef. That's correct. And we're going to talk about that later. So brown sugar from Mexico adds wonderful molasses flavors that are rem reminiscent of Belgian candy sugar. It has a full body and a lust lush texture with barrel expression all over toasted oak coconut leather and rich cigar tobacco i love leather How in my beer leathery beers is really the way to go oh and thankfully this isn't a uh oh that cork. dude pour, pulled that off cork. with ease yeah the luchador dang standing strong yeah luchador going strong i like that so uh, i'm just gonna pour here. us some beer Oh, into man. some Grim Army tulip glasses. It looks You're like see how liquid low, leather. Like low carbonation. This is. Look how non. Look how non effervescent, effervescent. that is. Oh man, Jinx! If you took a leather belt, yeah, turned it into a beer, yeah, this is pretty much it. Rolled it in tobacco, and vanilla and sugar, pretty much. Yeah. Anyway, so this is uh, Firestone Walker, Sticky Monkey. Actually, my favorite beer of all time. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Beecher. Cheers. Oh, wow. It's incredible. That's an incredible beer. That's an incredible beer. That's you an definitely get beer. the sugar. Sugar. It's very caramelized. Caramely. Raw sugar. Yeah. Caramelized raw sugar. I don't, I don't get the leather, but I do get like that. It's got like an earthy like tree bark tobacco yeah, very deep. component to it. Low notes. I call those low notes. Low notes. Like pruny almost. What's a high note for you on this? High notes, like, no, no, like flavor wise, like low, high notes would be like, you know this, high notes would be like bright sparkling flavors like citrus. Okay. Those are high notes. But when right. you think of low notes, you think of like berries or plums or prunes okay. or like dark night nightshade. Right. Is that correct? That's not correct. Like, but like robust low flavors would yeah. be your low. Low notes. Yes. And then okay. like citrus sparkly things are the top notes. Ooh, I just felt it like hit my stomach. Yeah? The alcohol? Yeah. The first thing that you taste uh, in this beer is alcohol. Uh, it's a 12 and a halfer, so it should be real good. But that's the first thing I always taste is booze. Yeah, the thank God we're note. splitting this. Yeah, thank God we're splitting this. I Although I have consumed an entire one on my own. Now the real question is, do you like it? I do. You like it? I don't know if I can do more than one bottle. Mm -mm. It's not meant for this that. Is not a, this is not a social drinking. Right. It's not, like, of them. it's not like a sessionable beer. Like you just wouldn't sit down and crack like seven or eight sticky monkeys. You'd die. You would die of joy. 
you'd die a happy person. What a way to go. And it's rated at a 4.47 out of 5. Out of it's five one on of the, the most like, I don't know. For me, Sticky Monkey's always been like the top tier creme de la creme of like just beautiful, flawless beers. How long have you had this in your this possession? This bottle? Since 2016. Damn. Yeah. Crazy, huh? Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Thanks for cracking this on this occasion. It was about time. You know what? I hadn't been vlogging for two weeks now. I, I, I feels good to be back. Thank you, everybody, for joining us again. I wonder if this. Would and be I felt like Beecher was here. Vlogs back. We need a good. Uh, we need a good beer. Do you have anything to pair with it? I took a uh, milk plus from your cabinet this morning, and yeah, this could pair really well. That really milk could. and salted caramel. Perfect. That would did you know? I That's did like not, you no. knew. That's almost like you no. knew, man. <clears throat> That's weird. This, Sorry about that. This life. could uh, pair well, or the Bule Bolu could do yeah. it well. I'm just going but, straight for the Bule Bolu. Going straight for the Bole Bolu. And you know what bums me out is I had um, Yig set up in a tank, and Yig is like my uh, has always been like my go to beer liquid. Yig. Always. Always. Even if it was like a citrus always, IPA. Always, Oh, well, I mean, not necessarily like with an IPA, but anything, I guess, that's not an IPA. Everything else. I'm Stouts, dive porters, into this. even. Yeah, do it. I'm going to do it with uh, Boule Bolu. Cheers. Oh, this one does is really good. Boule Bolu is legit. It's legit with this. Here, no, do you want no any more? Do you want me to top you off? Here. You want some more? You want me to top you off there, Beach? Whatever you want. We're splitting this. Is that just tobacco, Joe? <laughs> is that just tobacco? I'll have All some right. tobacco, Joe. I have, I have the is that just tobacco, Bolu Joe? In, um, in Yeah, try in the Bole Bolu with it. I'm going to do the Bole Bolu again with it because I think it's so good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Holy crap, well, Bole well. Bolu. That goes well. Bole Even Bolu this and one. Sticky Monkey is legit. That is legit. That's well, pretty good. We're having some Sticky Monkey tonight. We definitely have enough to get us through the whole vlog. I hope everybody else out there has a, a beverage or a a beer, a yoo A yoo Maybe. When was the last time you had a yoo Probably 20 years. 20 years since you've had a Yoohoo? So we need We're to get Yoohoo root beer tonight. <laughs> root beer and Yoohoo. Root beer and Yoohoo and pie. Tonight. And pie. And pie and sushi. That's what we're eating tonight. That's a uh, That's basically our plan. Um real quick, I just wanted to talk about I feel like it's been so long since I vlogged. I just kind of wanted to talk about a few things that I've been vaping. Beecher brought some stuff. Let's talk about what Beecher's vaping first and foremost. Okay, what right did you now. bring? I brought two devices. Two just devices. Two. Actually, three. When you travel, your do help. you usually travel light or heavy? Uh, do you overpack vape gear? I used to be a heavy packer for dinner afterwards, and that's it. You have one. One. Today, one. I brought, or this this coming here, I brought three. Three. Uh, this one is Keen Mech Mod 21700 in here. I have the RDA for vaping. My RDA that's coming out soon on top. DHD drip tip, uh, and in here is the Bule Bolu. Yeah, of course. Of course. Of course, man. Uh, other device I brought was Monarch, yeah. Aspen Modco, twenty seven hundred Ball Rog, Ball Rog with another coil turd RDA for vaping on top. And here is Milk Plus. Mm. And As the, we just saw. Yeah, and then the third one. Thanks to Grim Green. Yeah, huge thanks to Grim Green. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is the E pipe with the K Fun Light. K Fun Light Plus. Plus, that's my old K Fun Light Plus with a bell cap from one of my patrons, Andrew. Yes. And then the Gandalf pipe the stem. Gandalf pipe stem, and this thing is—it's like his favorite thing of all time. And what's even crazier is he has twenty milligram Bole Bolu in it. No, it's my liquid, liquid for vaping. Oh, liquid for vaping. Peach sorry. tea lemonade. Peach tea lemonade. Twenty sorry. milligram. Why did I in think it was Bole Bolu? Why did I say You that? don't have to move too much to vape this, so it's just a yeah. Keep your arm steady. Yeah. This, this is a, motion this is a good like to be in bed with. Of this distance is just too much for you. You can just lay in bed with your arm still and just slowly. 
hit it hard. And that's what you love about it. Yeah, this is good. 100%. I appreciate it. Yeah. Well, enjoy it. What, what, are, you, still what are you vaping? Uh, I have uh, a similar setup that Beecher has set up. It's a Keen, Matt Black Keen with the Recoil Rebel on top. Matt Black Recoil Rebel, Bole Bolu on the inside because it's amazing. I have uh, another Keen set up. I have a Copper Keen set up with the Dead Goat on top and a DHD Chop Top Sparkle Maple. Yeah, that one looks good. Looks awesome on Especially there, huh? when it's tarnished, it matches that it drip matches. tip really well. Yeah, that's why that Sparkle Maple, such a good drip tip because yes. it's the one drip tip you can use on Copper Max. Yeah. That's not because you want it to match, but you don't want a copper drip tip. No, that would be horrible. Lord. Just shove a mouthful of pennies. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So I've got that. I've also got this. I can't show you what's on top. A few people, my patrons have seen what's on top, but I actually can't show you what's on top. This is, but it's sitting on top of the UL Soul Reaper. That I love. I love this thing. I got this in the last vlog and I've been using it. It's awesome. It's awesome. And this is loaded up with, uh, I don't know. Kilo. How did you remember that? Kilo. Kilo. You remember what's mango. in my vape. Kilo, mango, sour, mango. Kilo, mango, sour, mango. And then finally, the last thing. It's just a mouth of lung banger. K-Fun Light 2019. Pug mod from Vaporgate uh, that I just love. It's an 80 watt little banger and it, Charges 18,000 different ways, and I really like it. That's loaded up with Water Malone. Shout out to Wayne from DIY or Die for the Water Malone. Yeah, Wayne. Dude, damn. It's so good. I tried it. You want to try it some more? Oh, my God. Yeah, you do. It's like watermelon juice. All Drink it. Dull. Just bathe in it. Don't bathe in it. It's so good. It's so good. It's stupid Arizona good. tea watermelon. That's what, That's what this like tastes too? like. Oh, yeah. Psh, good stuff. Get it. All right, so that's what we're vaping more that's or good. less. Yeah. Um, before we really get to talking to Beecher, I wanted to talk about this news that I saw just literally like a half hour ago on Fuck. Instagram. Jennifer yeah. Berger Coleman posted it. It's what was sitting there during the stream is starting thing. Our good old friend, whose name I thought I would never really have to say again, Scott, Scott. fucking Gottlieb. Gottlieb. Scott Gottlieb, uh, he went and took a job with Pfizer. So that's not surprising, like in any capacity. No. I just dislike this man so much. He came into the FDA, created this whole vaping epidemic, yep, demonized vaping for years, and then and comes then out of it. And then comes out of it and then goes to work for Pfizer. <laughs> could, could someone be more transparent in their intentions? I don't think so. Than Scott Gottlieb going to work for Pfizer. It's pretty Pfizer. straightforward. Super straightforward. He's like, fuck oh, vaping's, you guys. Yeah, vaping's biggest enemy. I'm going to go work for them after I just spent the last, you know, two years completely vilifying, demonizing vaping, yeah. making sure that smokers won't switch, making sure that smokers continue to smoke so that then they can use the Pfizer drugs to help them get off of cigarettes. Shantix. Ah, weird. Yeah, crazy, Shantix. right? Yeah, what a coincidence. Yeah, let's back that. Yeah, wow. And I don't know how everybody, I mean, it's only been around for like a half hour, this news, but I'm, I'm a angry. I feel like everybody's angry. Rage blind though. Rage blind. That's a good point. Beecher brought up this great point about being rage blind to like when negative vape articles and you know, the horrible propaganda that happens, it just happens so much and so often and so frequently that you can only get really angry so many times. Yeah, your body starts to turn it off after a while. You're yeah. just like, fuck, and then yeah. you go on with your day. Yeah, and you just go on with your day. Yeah. And it you can only get so ragey so many times. It's like, you know, earlier we were talking about that. Uh, we drove past that nicotine is brain poison uh, billboard or whatever that's on the side of this building. It's plastered on there. Plastered everywhere. And the first time I saw it, I was super pissed, and I posted a video of it and put it on Instagram, and then I've driven past it so many times, and every time I get mad... But it's like I don't have the energy to get mad at it. I'm like, yeah, that's it's still being there. Rage blind. You're yeah, just you like, just be rage is. blind to this, it. This is what we're going through. How do you, how do you not be rage blind? How do you? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out every day. Blindness? I know it's impossible because if it's not one thing, it's the other. It's always happening. Something, something mm -hmm. new 
Yeah, something like, new and there's negative. There's not enough time happening. in between one thing and the other. Yeah. It's nonstop. Yeah. It's nonstop. It's like every single day. Every day. Every single day. And then we have San Francisco completely banning vaping. Wow. Wow. Yep. Wow. That's like completely banning Advil. Or anything. Or They're anything. Ban- like fully banned fully, a product. Full 100% prohibition of all vapor products in San Francisco. And it hasn't taken effect yet as far as I know. But, but they're, they're waiting. They're they're I, ready for all, it. So all that this is going to accomplish, I feel like, is that people are going to continue to smoke, which is maybe what they want, and then it's just going to people are going to get their vape stuff outside of San Francisco because you can do it really easily. You're like 15 minutes away from Pleasanton, where you can go buy vape stuff from a vape shop. Yeah, you can go right over the bridge to Oakland. You can go right over the bridge to Oakland and get a bunch of vape stuff, and then just come back to San Francisco. It's gonna. It's like one of those things where they just do it. Say they pat themselves on the back. Mm-hmm. We did it. It's the same thing and with Tobacco it. 21. Yeah. It's it's useless. It's not going to help anybody. It doesn't help public health to ban the, the solution to smoking. They're not going to ban cigarettes, Danielle. No, no, no. Why would they ban cigarettes? Why would they ban cigarettes, Danielle Jones? Why would they? You can it's, still it's buy cigarettes in San what Francisco. They're doing. Yeah, they're they they're banking on sales to go up. And I can't believe that nobody nobody sees it for what it is. Like, there's not one. I mean, maybe there's one. That's, maybe there's that's a handful. That's why I get so angry because people do see it. People do know in San but Francisco, but they're going against it anyway. Yeah, the people who are putting these things together are they know. Yeah, they know. They're not dumb. People no. aren't dumb, but it happens anyway. Mm-hmm. And that's another thing to get super angry about. Just that, the it's just blatant. They're just pulling the sheets over your eyes, and nobody does anything about it. No, I mean there has people to be, are there has there to are, be citizens like, in San Francisco that are not smokers, that are not vapors, that go. Hmm. Why are, wait? They're banning vaping, but cigarettes are still legal. Yeah, nobody but, like how many people are really like questioning that in San we Francisco? We talked about it earlier. It's one of those things where people are like. Well, that's just a small thing. We have other things yeah, to worry exactly. about. Yeah. Well, we got Trump and Russia we collusion. Got, yeah, we have and, all this and other bullshit and the, and the splattered Democrats all over the news. And, DNC and all this stuff and yeah. kids in cages at the border yeah. and Ugh. AOC Cortez going now to have to have a photo shoot to look like she's crying in front of the cages. Yeah. There's all this stuff going on. Yeah. So when vaping comes up on the radar, it's like it's uh yeah. yeah. Like, Don't you have yeah. bigger fish to fry? Yeah, it's pretty much it like. Yeah. They just and then they just ban it. Because they know that no one's going to... There's not going to be an uproar. There's an uproar when they try to tax menthol cigarettes or ban menthol cigarettes. Right. But there's not an uproar. In fact, here's a great story. I guess we're just getting into the interview portion of this. Here's a great story. I went to the Los Angeles County uh, flavor ban hearing, and they were banning vape flavors and menthol cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm there, and it's packed inside the, the city building downstairs or downtown. And... I'm there and there's like four other vapors there. I see I see JJ from the Vapor Spot, I see Jay from Five Ponds and I saw uh Greg Conley there and myself. Okay. And that's it. But there was like 60 to 70 people walking around in t-shirts that said don't ban my menthol cigarettes. You're kidding. And they were really organized and they all showed up wearing the same t-shirts and they all spoke against the menthol cigarette ban and there was like i sat through just person after person after person after person talking about menthol cigarettes and no vapors were there zero vapors were there four vapors were there i counted them and hung out with them afterwards there were four of us it's crazy it's crazy that menthol smokers knew about it and somehow got organized enough to form this like menthol smoker militia and wear matching t-shirts and all show up at the hearing and all speak together. Smokers were that organized and we can't get that organized. Get mad. I am right now. Get mad. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what to say. I'm just like, motherfucker. Motherfuck. <laughs> I know. It's crazy, and this is something that we were kind of talking about on the podcast, which, by the way, Beecher is also going to be on the Culture of Clouds podcast uh, going up this Sunday afternoon. Um, But this is something that we talked about there as well, was like, I completely forgot where that train of thought was going. Preaching to the choir. 
preaching to the choir, getting everybody else informed. Oh, other non vapors informed. Advocacy versus activism. Yes, like being an advocate for something is easy. I'm right. an advocate for vaping for Disneyland. Yes, I would advocate going to Sweden. I'd be an advocate for wearing pants. Like yes, you do things and you're an advocate for them, but there's a difference between saying yeah I support I support vaping and then actually doing something to support vaping the grassroots of it grassroots of it yeah. making the phone calls writing the letters writing the right. emails you know there's a difference there's a world of difference the amount of of uh of help that comes from making a phone call versus reposting something on Instagram is <laughs> tremendous is astronomical <laughs> yeah I mean, and I think more people need to do that Yes. Instead of just, you know, posting one thing or copy pasting your response to a senator, you got to call. Mm-hmm. You have to write an email. You have to call. You have to go a little bit further and you have to show people that too. You have to. Especially non-vapers. Like you have to show them what it's about. Clearly talking about it on the internet has gotten us this far. Yeah. And all we've done is like really talk about it on the internet. Right. That's where we're at now. Yeah. That's why San Francisco's banning all vapor products. That's why Vermont is banning all retail sales, all online sales, flavor ban in Vermont. It's unreal. It's fucking ridiculous. It's crazy, Joe. It's crazy. <laughs> I've seen it. You've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it. Is that just tobacco, Joe? I'll have some of that. But yeah, it's kind of unbelievable. It's it kind of unbelievable. And so, I don't know. I just want to encourage... Like a lot more activism. I get it that we're advocates. I'm an advocate. You're an advocate. We're all advocates. We all need to be activists. And I think a lot more change is going to happen. And it doesn't take a lot of effort to be an advocate. That's the thing. Or to be an activist, to actually do something. It takes, what, five, maybe five minutes out of your day to make a phone call. Right. Maybe five or ten minutes out of your day to craft an email to your representative, which your representatives are all on the internet. Yep. You can, phone you can numbers, see their addresses emails. and phone numbers and emails. You can show and up at their house. Are. You can show up at their... Well... Don't do that. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. Beecher just showing up at some... <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. I'm here to talk about I'm vaping. Here to t- <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to talk about vaping. It's like, 3 a.m. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> I'm Beecher. <laughs> I'm here to talk about vaping. <laughs> Coil turd, you might have heard of me. <laughs> Coil turd, you know, Instagram, quad core aliens. Yeah, you might have seen it. You might have heard about it. Yeah, so don't do that. Yeah, don't. But it doesn't, it I'm takes like a little bit of effort to do it. True. A little bit of effort. And then when you put in a little bit more effort, you see how much more you can accomplish. Right. With like actually doing something. <clears throat> anyway, let's, I don't want to talk about, I don't want to talk about that because I get all fired up. I know. my heart's And I know crazy. you get fired up too. So let's completely change the topic. Let's talk about Beecher. Not a lot of people know this, but Quail Turd's first name is Beecher. It is. Yeah. Beecher. Beecher. And we covered this on the podcast, but I think I'd like to cover it now again. All right. How did you go from Beecher to Coil Turd? Uh, like on the internet. You're on sitting the internet. in your house. You're like, hi, I'm Beecher. I'm going to make an Instagram account. Coil, Coil turd. turd. <laughs> it just came to mind. It no, just, uh, uh, huh. So my personal Instagram account, which I don't use anymore, was Beach Turd 666. Oh, yeah, the triple six. Triple six. Yeah. And then so when I created in, an Instagram, it was easy for me to just be like, Beach Turd, Coil Turd. Oh, okay. Why and Beach that was Turd? It. Beach Turd, my buddy Gino calls me Beach Turd. Oh, Beecher became Beach, Beach Turd. turd. And then so Beach turd. Coil Turd. And then and originally it was Coil Turd 666. Yeah. Until people she came at keep me. It metal. Angry. You know, yeah. Iron Maiden. Just screaming. Bruce Dickinson would be proud. Just screaming 666. Yeah. Capital. There's if no there other, were capital can't. sixes. <laughs> <laughs> There's no capital sixes. <laughs> There's no capital numbers. <laughs> And that's how it six, happened. Six, six. I never thought uh, in a million years that it would take off to where it was, where yeah. it is now. Where people call you Coil, Coil Turd. Turd instead of my real name. Like At a they'd show. rather not ask what your name is. Yeah, they they it's Coil Turd. It's Coil Turd. Yeah. 
Well, like shit. I, <laughs> you mean like you mean shit? like shit turd? Like you turd? Like turd like, like a, a turd, turd shit turd? I'm like yeah, here we yeah, go again. I, I guess I'm coil turd. Yeah, so I had to take the six 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 off though because people were coming at me pretty hard. Oh, for the at least just one guy for the number. Of yeah, the you made me sit back and think. Yeah, you know I did something like that really early on too. Um, way back when I was first started YouTubing, like 2011, 2012 time. Um, my thing, I always said, vaping, fuck yeah. Like, that was my thing. I put it all over my website. Vaping, uppercase. Uppercase. <laughs> uppercase, vaping, comma, fuck yeah, exclamation point. That was like my thing. Can I you, loved it. Can we bring it back? Vaping, fuck yeah. It was all over my website. It was all over my YouTube. It was like, fuck yeah, vaping, fuck yeah. We and should then, bring that back. Well, I mean, maybe. As a hashtag. And then... I got some advice from, you know, I don't want to say this person's like a, a mentorish type of person, but he's a little bit of like a mentorish person type of me. And he gave me some advice and said, um, some people don't like Curse obscenities. Word. And I get it that you like obscenities, but not everybody likes obscenities. Yeah, that's what the and guy so told me for the 666. Like put a lot of people off by saying vaping, fuck yeah. Yeah. Like you can still be grim green. And you can still be edgy and sure right. you can still curse, but don't just put it all over your website. Yeah, it's like Coil Turd 666, people are reading it as Coil Turd Satan. Yeah, Coil Turd worships the devil. They, they're like, I don't like this guy. Yeah, even though it's not like a thing. Right. Like you're not purposefully putting the triple six so that you can summon Lucifer. No, but I was being edgy. Let's be you honest. were being edgy. I just, it you was were, my you're like, metal I'm 14 time. And this is edgy. I was 14. <laughs> <laughs> you were not 14. <laughs> You were definitely not 14. <laughs> no, it wasn't 14. Turd. No. So you dropped the triple six. I dropped it. Yeah. Turd. It was alienating people and I didn't want to do that. And I think that was around the time where I started considering selling coils. Mm. So I didn't want to like plaster 666 on packaging or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it just came off. Now it's coil turd. Plain. It's still, you plain. know what's funny is even though you take the triple six off of it, it's still kind of like a name that you don't want to say. Or that it's you, gotten you know, easy now. It ha it gets easy over time. It's easy to to say it to like to vapors. Yeah. But you know the random people I meet, and they're like, "Oh, what do you do for a living?" I'm like, oh, "I run a vape business." They're like, "Okay, what's it called?" Coil turd. Coil they, turd. It's just silent <laughs> chirping, like shit. <laughs> you mean like you shit? Mean like shit. I'm like, fuck do yeah, you, dude. Do you regret coil turd? The name coil turd? No. No, not at all. No. Because it's become like its own thing. Yeah, it's fine. At it's, first, people thought it was funny and original because mm -hmm. it was always like something vapes. Like that's how that's what people name their stuff. Back Everybody the way does back that. Then, something something vapes, vapes. You know. Yes. Coil turd. They're like, vapes. whoa, what's that? Mike vapes. Hey, peeps. What's up, peeps? So Mike vapes. Mike vapes here. <laughs> Is that good? Mike vapes. <laughs> Wasn't <laughs> that deep? <laughs> Mike vapes here. Yeah. Mike vapes. If he was whispering, that's what he'd sound like. Yeah. Mike vapes. <laughs> Coil turd. Coil turd. Coil turd. Well, because I know like Matt Cully, suck my mod. Yeah. He recently changed his YouTube name to Matt from SMM. Uh, yeah. Because of the whole suck my mod thing. It's kind of like. You wouldn't change your name to Beecher at with CT? Coiled. No. No, you can't, no, you can't you can do. do that. There's nothing you can do. Not even down the road there's nothing you can do. No. It is what it is. And I like it. I'm, and you're, I'm here to stay, people. You know what I like about it is the first time you hear it, it's kind of funny. Coil turd. Coil turd. You're like, what? Yeah, like shit. Shit. It's, but then, someone asked me that. See, what's unique about it is you're the, you're the only coil turd. Yes. There's no, it's like, you know, it's like Dwayne with Ohm Boy. Like he's, he's the one and only. He's the one and only Ohm Boy. But you remember on YouTube, there was like Ohm Boy Josh. And then there was yes. Ohm Boy this person. And then in the UK, they have a liquid that's like Ohm Boy liquid. Oh, yeah. So it's like. People are using own boy. People, and no one's going to use coil turd. No, you're never going to run into a situation where there's a company that's like, this is our coil turd liquid. And you're like, what? No, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's never going to happen. No, you don't have to worry about that. No, with such a unique name. Coil yeah, turd. it's good. And it's, it, it is. How long, uh, how long have you been building coils? Uh, sorry about that. Uh, um, it's just burp life. Burp life. Burp life. Uh, I'm building coils. I th my first time I wrapped a coil was in 20, I want to say it was 2014. It could have been end of 2013. And 
how long, like how much trial and error was it? Because I know how much trial and error it was for oh, me dear. trying to build like my first Clapton's were just awful. I still can't build an alien. Right. How long did it take you to like master this to where now? Cause now you're telling me, Oh, I spend like eight hours and I just knock out like a thousand feet of aliens. Yeah. That's crazy to me. How um, long did it take you to like actually master this process of, of coil building a while, but I would stay up all night, <laughs> every night, just wrapping just coil. for the sheer love of it. Just, just doing it all night. Yeah. You can ask Sandy. She'd All wake up and the, the whole house would be just vaped out <laughs> like you're living in a cloud. Perfect. Bury me in a cloud. Tons of wire. Fuck ups, burns, pokes, loud drill. Yeah. Loud just drill. going until four in the morning. Just building. Just building. Yeah. It took me probably. <sighs> I caught on pretty quick, mm -hmm. but the aliens took me the longest to learn. Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming they took me forever to learn. I still haven't learned them. Actually, I actually <laughs> figured out aliens right before I started selling them. As soon as I figured it out, it was like I knew how to do it. So you're passing off the fact that you're like a pro coil builder, but really uh, you were selling aliens and you just learned how to do them. A few years ago, yeah. Wow. Drama. Once you know how to do it, it's... Right, you, you can, can do it every single time. Every now single that I'm doing it all the time, it's just I do it blindfolded. Do you ever like wish like, oh, I wish I had done? Could you like introduce a new coil, or are you ever like, no. I really I'm into framed fralians, staple frame staples. Can I do a new 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 spec or something yeah, like, like that? A new what spec or I new could. Coil. Do you ever think about stuff like I that? I could, but you have like, to the time into it, like how long it takes to make those. Uh, and with everything else that I'm making, I just don't have time to be like, I'm going to fuck with this. Right. Yes. And then sell them at a mass yes. quantity. Yeah. Cause I already have 12 specs of coils on my website. 12, 12. Are you kidding me? Three fuse, four aliens, triple cores, four quad cores. What? Wait, wait, you have four, four different core. versions of quad core coils. Yeah. 27 gauge, 28, 29 and 30. As the cores. As the cores, quad cores. And then I have triple core aliens, 26, 27, 28, and 30. Triple cores. And then I have 26 gauge fuse, 24 gauge fuse, and 28 gauge fuse. Three, four, four. That's 11, right? Yeah. Do I have one more? Alien frame staples. Alien frame staples. 12. Boosh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. 11, 12. 12. You should do one more. To make it 13, 13. I should make 666 yeah, you should of make them. 660, 650, whatever. Something like 666 that. 666 minus 12. Yeah. That's how many more I have to go. I get that though. Like it. you're just cranking out coils. You don't really have time to like fiddle and experiment. And be no. Like, oh, what if I did a corrugated fucking thingy guy? No, there's so many builders on Instagram right now that are doing that. Yeah. But they're not selling them, but. Right. They take a long time. They I don't do. have time to spend an hour on one set of coils. But you could charge more for it. Yeah, but how many you people say, are going to buy like a, an like a hour and $40 a set of coils? I would. Would you? If I can't build it, I'll gladly Would you guys pay for it. spend if I can't $40 it? on a set of coils? I'm asking them. Okay, one, let's one look for in the yes, chat. One for two yes, for two no. for no. Would you spend $40 on a set of coils if it took Beecher like an hour and a half each set to do? One for yes, two for no. Yes. What? There we go. No, it's no. One, yeah, there's it's half, no's. half. Nope. nope. All right. Nope. No. One. Well, yeah, that's one. That's a two. That's a two. You know, I'm just... Two, 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 oh, two. you're just messing. Thank you. Appreciate that. That was... <laughs> two, 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 oh, two, two, two. I saw two, that. Two, two. Oh, boy, OC is in here. There's a few ones. Look, there's a few ones. So I'll make two sets. This could be something that you could offer just as like a... Shit, it's like an expensive thing. Like it's a premium thing. It'd be it's a like new there's learning the, curve there's too. Like the, there's like the what the the BMW cheaper BMW, and then there's like the seven series seven series BMW or an i. This is like your seven series coils. Look at all those twos, though. Look at all those twos. See, but see, the, I don't know the, if a couple ones will outweigh 42, the two. Forty-two, Michelle Lynn, really good. <laughs> uh, you don't think the it doesn't matter. The ones don't need to outweigh the twos. The ones just need to exist in the first place. That's your market right there. Even if it's small, it's still a market. JBC says one. I would say one. 
I would buy a pair of suit like slick fancy coils or if you're like this is like a you only rock this as a single coil it's a corrugated fralian fucking gargoyle Did you know i've never of... made a corrugated build before really i've never spent the time the last time i sp- corrugated builds. yeah i know like way, way back in the day yeah but when he was like doing his experimental stuff and still building for the fun of it yeah never done a corrugated build I've attempted. Let's try I've it attempted. tonight. You want to do one? You want to do one you have right your, now? You have your corrugated tool? No. Should we Amazon it one day no shipping? Wire. I, have, I don't even have a, I have a drill. We can just take apart the sets of coils I sent you and reuse the wire. <laughs> <laughs> reuse the wire. <laughs> one thing that you did do that I really liked that I thought was cool, and I don't know how many, how much of them you sell, but are the, the sticks. Sticks, yeah, they still go pretty well. Do they? They do. I like the sticks. A lot of people, if people know how to wrap a coil, they like to mm-hmm. buy those but i think if some people are scared to get it fuck it up and then be at like and then fuck be out, out of the, out of the yeah, sticks that's true but that's why i give two five inch sticks that's a lot of wire it to is. wrap a coil you can get you could get three coils out you of can it. get i think you can get 10 wraps on a three millimeter oh really out of one stick okay which is a pretty wide coil you see that's something that you do the sticks are unique to you N- nobody else really does those not that i can think of I think Squid Dude did sticks a long time ago. Really? I haven't there made were, I think there were shorter sticks, and this was years ago, I think. I think he did them a, a long, long time ago. Interesting. But I, for people who like want a 2.5 millimeter alien yeah, you that I don't customize offer them it, yeah. or pre-wrap, they can yeah. do the 2.5. If you want six wraps, if you want seven wraps, if you want to do yep. a series build, which I don't sell pre-made series builds. Mm-hmm. You can get, buy a set of like the 30 gauge aliens, nine wraps on a three millimeter is going to be like 0.42 dual yeah. coil for a series. So you can go even a little bit lower than that. Yeah. No lower than 0.3. There's been so many that's times my, where those sticks, saying. well, I promise we're not, we're going to talk about other stuff too, but there's been so many times where those sticks have like saved my life where I'm building on, I don't know, like a unique RDA or an RTA. And it's like, I'm going through these and I'm like, none of the fiends ones I have will work. None of the coil turd ones, mm-hmm. none of the. Turk ones, none right. of my coils will work. I, if you need a wider coil. Sticks, yeah, wider or narrower. Like you can build like a little one and a half millimeter fucking alien. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, you can do what you want with those. Wait, I'm, I'm getting text messages. So many porn bots this week. Luckily, there's loads of mods in chat. All right, chat. Uh, thank you, mods, for taking care of those porn bots. Porn bots. Porn bots. What are those? Uh. I'm intrigued. Wow. Wow. Porn bots. Porn bots. So Fast Tech does sticks too. Thanks, Stu. Yeah, let's someone delete that comment. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I like that and I think that's unique. I think, you know, every uh every coil builder that's like a builder that sells coils seems to specialize in like a thin millimeter five wrap 27 gauge aliens that's yeah. like his thing i love them. and that's why he does those yeah Every- i like three millimeter builds so that's why all of them but two are three millimeters are three millimeter well and yeah and you and so and then fiends does like framed staples like that's his staples that's like kind of his does, thing is yeah framed or ones. frame staples yeah. and uh aj holland does like Multi-core, like Six high core, resistance. 29s. Yeah, he does high the coils, 28 gauge aliens. High ohm coils. I think those are on like a 3.5 millimeter. Yeah, they're big. Yeah. They're big. The 28 gauge aliens, yeah. Those, I just are, think those that's, are pretty pretty big. I don't know. I just think that's really interesting. You know, when you think of buying coils, you think, well, I could do that. And then you try it and you go, okay, well, maybe I'll buy some. Right. But then when you buy some, you see like, wow, there's all this variety. Like a coil's not just a coil. Like no. aliens and frame staples and even comparing like, how differently your aliens vape compared to the Turk aliens or yeah. how different AJ Holland's high ohm resistance coils vape compared to these. Yeah. Each there's spec, so much variety each spec does uh, vape differently. Yeah. It's crazy. And well, that's one of the reasons I really love RDAs is because yeah, an RDA, it's not going to vape any differently like on its own, but yeah. when you throw different coils in there, it's you can get oh, a, yeah. you get a completely different Heat. vape. Heat, Vapor production, warmth, temperature, all flavor, oh, it's, yeah. it all can go up and down. And I don't know, there's just so much uniqueness, I think, in RDAs and buying coils from specialty coil builders that are going to give you these unique experiences. Yep. I think it's really fucking cool. It is pretty cool. But before you were a coil builder, I worked in a kitchen. You were a chef. Correct. 
lot of people don't know this. No. Beecher was a chef and we were in Trader Joe's on Wednesday. Yeah. And Beecher's like, do you want me to cook for you? I'll yeah. cook for you. And I was like, no, no, you don't have to. And he's like, it's not a burden. I love yeah, cooking. Yeah, I like cooking food. He's like, I like cooking food. Yeah, you can, can throw I anything on the food? table. Name a protein. You'll cook And I'll it. make something with How it. long were you a chef? Uh, since I was, I wasn't a chef. Like okay, the title chef. chef. I worked in the kitchen since I was 16. 16? Yeah, first job I had, Thunder Canyon Brewery. Wow. I was the pizza cook. And I took that shit to heart. Really? Like the you best really pizzas. You really got into it. Like everything was organized. It wasn't just throw the shit on a, on, on dough and bake it and, you know, right. half-ass cut it. <laughs> this was serious it pizza. It was serious, yeah. And, uh, and I got really good at it. And then they moved me all over the kitchen from saute to grill, blah, blah, blah. Okay. And uh, just took off from there. And you just worked in food food yeah that was just like a pub and then i went to fine dining after that oh so yeah. like like fleming Filet steakhouse Mignon. yeah that's a fancy food yeah cooking those brussels sprouts yeah i you love brussels good, sprouts i love brussels sprouts with too. bacon and you balsamic know, vinegar casey i wish she i say i wish she could have made this for you casey makes a carrot souffle that I'm not even joking is my favorite food on earth. Like a real souffle. A real souffle. It's like a, a carrot souffle. And it's light and fluffy yeah. and carroty and and sweet a little bit. Souffles are hard to make. Holy fuck. She does it. She does it every Thanksgiving and I, I worship this carrot souffle. We had a, I had to make souffles when I worked at a restaurant, um, Acacia. Uh, one of the best fine dining restaurants in Tucson. And if you fucked up the souffles... <laughs> You're scared to death of, the, of like the owner chef, right? He would flip well, out. The, the souffle is something you have to order ahead of time, right? Whenever I go to like a fine dining restaurant, or like a fancy restaurant, they always mention that there's a souffle, but you have to order it right it takes now time. so they yeah. can make it. Yeah, you have to prep it. Ahead and then of time. if you fuck it up, it's like if it collapses on itself, if it collapses, it's done. You're done, and you that's can't it. serve that. You can't get a souffle. Then it's just like a flat pancake, carrot souffle, bro. Learn it. Make it, take it home. Make it for Sandy. A carrot souffle. Carrot if I can souffle. get the recipe, it's the best thing ever. If, if I only get if it Casey once a year, Pickle. Casey refuses to make it except on Thanksgiving. So I only get it once oh, a year. Oh, it's that special. It's yeah, it's a Thanksgiving dish. Casey loves cooking Thanksgiving dinner. It's like her favorite thing in the history of America. Let's you do should it. come over for Thanksgiving. All right. <laughs> bring your family. <laughs> Just come on over. Yeah, bring your family over. We we'll carrot souffle. Carrot souffle all day. All it's dope. so good. So you spent a lot of years in the kitchen. Yeah. So at any given moment with any sort of ingredients, maybe you're like the MacGyver of food. So if I bring yeah. you some ingredients, you could be like, I could do a... Uh, like chopped. Like a thing. Like I can like make the show a, Chopped. Have you ever seen that no, show? Yeah. That show makes me chopped. nervous. They're like, all right, in today's <laughs> basket we have... Jelly beans, <laughs> avocado, yams, you know, and silly glue. And leather. Yeah, and leather. Make a meal. You have 30 minutes. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah. 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 Chopped. I'm make, make a sauce out of jelly beans and leather. Well, you're not going to be able to cook for me this time, unfortunately. I can, I we just I can probably time. go in your fridge right now. You think so? And make something. We'll see after. We'll see after this stream. We'll All go right. see if Beecher can cook me something. Well, if we, if I Chef do, Beecher. take a picture of it. Oh yeah, got to go like it. Hundred percent. Yeah, like yeah. We, we we're not plugging your stuff yet. No, just we'll go to my Instagram. If the there's end. a picture of something weird, <laughs> food wise, just like it, you know where it came from. Nick's Kitchen. I'm gonna take this pizza, scrape all the frozen cheese off of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use that. <laughs> Um, so before, uh, so you, 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 you've been a chef. I know you're not a chef, but I'm going to keep saying chef. Cause I think it sounds cooler. I know you weren't like a chef. When chef. I left, like, I, I know was a chefs chef, chef. is like a real, like a thing. Like when it, you become a chef, there's sous chef, you're executive a chef. chef, right? You're yeah. Like a chef, chef. Yeah. And I know you weren't a chef. I just like saying I was, Oh, you were a chef. Yeah. I've, I've been executive chef of two restaurants. I was sous chef at Bluefin Seafood Bistro for five years. Yeah, I was a chef. A real so one. Had a, a title, yeah. But in addition to being a chef, how are we doing on time? Okay, we're doing okay. We're going we're gonna to wrap up this interview and we'll get on to some so more he segments. Says, but he I, says I appreciate everybody time. hanging out. Um, you 
N- nobody knows this, but you are a very accomplished metal drummer. Yes. You drum like a crazy metal person. Blast beats. Blast beats. Just and death metal. Flailing legs. Flailing broken legs. Broken sticks. You ever do the China? That's my my China was China. over here, so oh, I never China hit was over it behind here? me. China was always up here. It was right there. above the ride. But during a big breakdown? Did you ever do big breakdowns? No, it was a <laughs> black metal band. That Black metal doesn't have breakdowns. <laughs> Actually, like Behemoth has some breakdowns, but not like, well, not hardcore. Death metal breakdowns. Death metal no, breakdowns are different black from metal. hardcore breakdowns. I was in a black metal band. So black metal doesn't have breakdowns. Keyboards, blast beats, shrieking. Just... Like balls a, to the wall. Yeah, balls to the wall black metal. Yeah. What was the name of your black metal band? Chaos Ascending. Lame. I didn't like it. Super I was lame. one of the only ones that didn't like it. Really lame. I didn't paint my face either, even though everybody else did. <sighs> oh, you didn't? I didn't. No, and I kept like I was always like just keep me in the dark. <laughs> like I don't want I don't want light shining on me when I'm you playing the drums. Just keep you me in the like, dark. Put on a cloak. Like the ghost the guys from Ghost, how they wear cloaks. They're like hooded figures. You could be a cloak guy, but all your bandmates wore corpse paint. Yeah, and spiky ash fucking wrist guards and yeah, yeah, the whole thing. We could go to Home Depot and make some like sick wrist gauntlets. Could yeah, you just get roofing nails, just just gauntlets and pound it into this leather beer. You can yeah. just we can dehydrate this beer. <laughs> pound it into the leather beer. We can just dehydrate this. Are you scrape on, everything off the bottom? Are you good there, Joe? You good on beer? Is that That's just tobacco? Is that just tobacco, Joe? I'll have some of that. We got human pig hybrids. I've seen them. You've seen them. That's been established, Joe. Ruby, there are too many types of metal. There's, there's, there's only like three good ones, maybe two. Two good types of metal: death mm-hmm. and black. Okay. No, that's wrong. I think thrash metal is better than black metal. I like thrash. Me- <laughs> <laughs> well, <fuck laughs> yeah. Vlogs over. Like. Thrash metal like uh, Municipal Waste, Old Testament, Exodus, Slayer. Thrash Old metal. thrash metal is good. Old thrash metal is good. New, new but crossover new thrash, thrash metal, metal is fun. kind of getting sloppy. Like I like form, yeah, and rhythm. Like the new, like Municipal Waste, you can listen to like four songs, and then you're like, did I just listen to this song? Right. Oh, this is yeah. They all song. blend together. I like. I like the reason I like black metal so much is there's just so much melody to it that you can just really like feel how it's going you know what i like yes every once in a while i'm like let's put something on and we'll like just fucking go Mm -hmm. but you know what i like about black metal is i like uh it's a it's a real minimal kind of metal it's not really ever overproduced or anything like that like real true true vre black metal cult black metal yeah put on a mayhem album stripped down really minimal and what i like about black metal is sometimes when you're listening to black metal, you can kind of listen past certain elements of it right. to pick up on other things that are happening. Right. Like you hear three minutes of just like yeah. blast beats, right? Love it. But once you listen past that, you kind of hear like, Oh, there's like this melody, like this synthy melody maybe yeah. happening or like this guitar melody. That's kind the of guitar happening, melodies even though it's and really minor like, chords. Just, yeah, yeah. I love that. Yeah. Well, you know, when black metal first started, the, the 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 founders of black metal, the people that created this genre, they wanted it to be unlistenable. That's they wanted much it to what be it was. the most unlistenable, offensive. You can't even get through a song because it's so irritating and the vocals are so shrieky and the guitars yeah. are just mids. Yeah. You know, and just like um, blast beats. Like old Venom. Yeah, like old Venom or like Mayhem, the Death, Mayhem Death Crush EP. Yeah, it just sounds even like, like nothing. Dark Funeral's first album was just everything was so high pitched, and yeah. you, you just you're like, Shrieky what is going squealy. on right yeah. now? It just sounds like it was recorded on like a Fisher Price tape recorder at the end of a yeah. tunnel. Yeah, and right. That's yeah, what yeah. it sounds like. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna record this in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you know, in the bathroom on a Fisher Price tape recorder. Yeah, yeah. it's the new Dark Throne that's album. It. There yeah. you go. That's how just they we'll record. Do it. one playthrough. But I like that. Like, it's such a change going from like I listen to like fucking Blink One Eighty Two and Paramore oh, and like yeah. all these top forty overproduced that new shit. Blink albums. Fire. It's not new anymore. Fire. Though. No, California. Is it it's three years, years old? I love it. Me too. I, so I was good. a huge Blink fan. I and then when I heard Blink that one. Dude, I went to a... Their new vocalist too is 
He's really good. Matt Skiba yeah. from Alkaline Trio. Yeah. He's awesome. Yeah. We went, me, James and I went and saw Blink-182 two nights ago. I saw a picture of that we or a video. A yeah. And it was awesome. And they played Enema of the State from beginning to end. Really? Yeah, Enema of the you State. You were front row too. Front row. There was only like You could reach out and touch there. a shoe yeah. on stage. I could. Tom DeLong looked at me like a few times. He's like, hey. And I was like, fucking Tom DeLong." He looked at Fucking you. Fucking Tom DeLong. He looked at you. He looked at me. He made eye contact. Oh with man! Me and was like, "What else do you have to live for?" I was now? like, "Fucking Tom DeLong." Yeah. What? Eye contact. Eye contact. Chemistry. Uh, it was He's, chemistry, he and they sounded. Should have brought you on stage. Amazing, but you go from this like really produced Blink One Eighty Two album that just sounds flawless to like, oh, Arctic Thunder from Dark Throne, where. There's just you just don't you just know. plugged in a guitar and just started playing. <laughs> yeah, and sometimes you need that, like you need that stripped down, right? Raw, animalistic, yeah, m- music, metal, where it's just like emotion. It's yeah. just anger. It's just like that's what, it's rebellion. Full, yeah. And see, that's why I've been listening to so much punk lately, is because I'm identifying with like this angry fight the system fuck the man like let's get yeah. angry like remember when we used to just be angry and we yeah. didn't trust the government we didn't trust parents and we didn't trust anybody i've never we're just trusted like, the fuck government the system and we're punk rock and angry about it yeah i'm identifying with that a lot right now because i feel that i'm like fuck the system fuck the yeah. fda damn the man i feel that punk rebellion does that the best punk does do punk that does best. it the best yeah and i'm just identifying with that with it so yeah. much that rebellion yeah. I like that rebellion. Yeah. I'm all about rebellion. Let's get it. Let's get, get it. it. So um, we are saving all the super chats uh, for a little bit later, unless I read this one from Eifer. Before I lose connection temporarily, although not technically heavy metal, this band is still pretty metal. You should check out Heliung. Can you read that? Heelung. Heilung. Heilung. All right, Eifer. All right, Eifer. We'll check out. We'll check it out. In fact, last night, um, Beecher got here uh, in the afternoon yesterday, and last night we uh, we had like a two hour metal listening party. Yeah, that was pretty fun. It was like you pick a song, I'll pick a song. You pick a song, I'll pick a song. Yeah. you pick a song, and it was just metal. Yeah, it, it was, was incredible. Fun. Back and forth, back and forth, just back and forth and back and forth. We're like, oh, have you heard this? this? Right, Nick's That's like, man, I don't thing. like it. Uh, <laughs> I'm a metal snob. <laughs> I don't like the things that you like, Beecher. Those mids are a little too low. <laughs> oh, those mids are a little... Yeah, anyway. Just so I remember, I'm going to type in that band name. Hi, yeah, do There it, it is. Um, we should at least open... So we don't have a lot of vape mail tonight, you guys. I do have some vape mail, but just because Beecher's here, we're kind of going to be glossing over the vape mail a little bit, which means that next week in the vlog, the vape mail is going to be out of control huge it's already piling it's up these packages but we have one package uh from here let's roll the bumper here we go we're gonna do bump some uh, mail bump it so we have one package we got one package do you want to read where it's from france 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 jus d'orange la poste je m'appelle jus d'orange yeah. What? Je m'appelle Jus d'Orange. I don't know what you're saying. I said my name is Orange Juice. Oh. Nice to meet you. Yeah, that's the only French I know. Why do you know my name is Orange Juice? It's because <laughs> I took uh I took uh I took French in high school as a freshman and I ended up getting kicked out of the class, but I picked up a few things. And that's one. And that's one of them. My name is Orange Juice. Library, you know, everybody knows how to say library. A bibliothèque. It's like when I you're taking Spanish things. and like, you know, I have yeah. a cat in my pants, you know? <laughs> yeah. That's what you picked up. Yeah. My name is Orange Juice. I picked Juice. up my name is Orange Juice. All right. This is from France. I'm going to let Beecher open this package. This is the one package that I was going to reserve for the vlog because it says, what does this say? Please, Please open, open on, on the vlog. vlog. Before June 29th. Oops, something's expiring. This is the last time that we can open this on the vlog before June 29th. It's today. See who it's from? Addy Tooney. Addy it says Tooney. Addy Tooney Certified. Certified. Oh. Yeah. So Addy Tooney is vouching basically for this person. All right. It's to Nick Green. His address is... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't even know where to begin. Please don't I don't know that. if I... That's, that's not it. 
Look at there's diagram on here on how to fold this box up. Look at this. Watch. Wait, wait. You don't need to open it that way. Watch. Boom. Now we just pull it out this way. You just way. broke it. It's a fucking box. You broke it. Are you going to save the box? Oh. oh, look at this. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. What do we have? We have a cup. What's it say? Foo. Foo? Paris Vape Manufacturer. Fu? Oh, Foo. Yeah, at another smoke Instagram, the foo, the foo. Oh, damn! What is it? Less caramels. Oh, so we're gonna be eating caramels. And this pie. is uh. Oh man, a, a this is legit. With just the foo on it, I guess. Just that little thing. Let's see what else is going on in here. There's a tote bag with the same logo. Is this a money I'm clip? I'm so confused right now. What a grab bag. This has to be a money clip. Superior titanium. A titanium money clip. Superior ti... Oh, no shit. That's pretty baller. That's baller. You have to hold at least like $700 in one money clip or else put your big bills on top. Yeah, just 100 and the rest can be ones. ones. Or just paper. And you don't even use it. You just like... Whenever you're at the store, you just pull your wallet out. And you're like, oh, 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 oh I don't sorry. need, I don't need this. Oh, my, oh don't man, I'm gonna use debit. Yeah. <laughs> use my and, cash. All right, so there's a money clip and a tote bag. Here, I'm gonna let you read this note. Okay. It says, "Hi, Nick. Straight out of Paris. Some lowrider plus one special money clip. Best regards, Jen. Jean. Jean from the Foo. Oh, the Foo makes. Okay." Do you the know Foo this makes now? makes Lowrider. Never had it? Oh, baby. The Foo makes Lowrider. You've never I've had Lowrider? No, but I've heard you talk about Lowrider oh, God it's knows so how many good. times. It's we so have some other good. liquid here, too. Are those other liquids? This is a Lowrider um, Nick Shot? Yeah, because these are short fills. Lowrider is all short fill, right? Uh, it is now. It didn't used to be. Is this Lowrider as well? All yeah, it low is. Rider. Do you like uh, menthol, like mint or culotta or anything like that? Just icicles. <laughs> <laughs> Just icicles. No. The no worst. No icicles. Oh, that's horrible. Wait, there's more, there's more uh, liquids in here. There's that's one the called My Secret Starbucks? What the crap? What does that say? Seven year secret Starbucks? Looks like NY and secret this is Starbucks. New York secret Starbucks and then Pride Pog. Yeah. Pride Pog. Papaya, orange, guava. Here, there, there's this big, uh, so there's a raffle going on. There's a vaffle going on. International fundraiser Pride Vaffle. Are you seeing this? I'm going to read this while I'm showing it to you right now. Ooh. Please read this on the vlog. Dear Nick. My name is Cecile. Cecile? Yep. Cecile. AKA Queer Your Vape. I am a French LGBTQ vapor and advocate. I am sending you this package to thank you for accepting our invitation to come live on Fresh O3's YouTube channel to celebrate the Pride Vaffle with us and raise money for the Ali Forney Center and help fight LGBTQ youth homelessness on Saturday, June 29th. In the package, you'll find a card if you don't have you don't have to read it on camera some e-liquid that i've mixed just for you oh that's what these bottles are yeah that pog smells good that does it smell good all right some uh I, some e-liquid i've mixed for you also a good healthy stock of low rider from my friends the foo in paris who manufacture it yeah low rider is one of my favorite liquids of all time I hear you talking it about could that. be a legacy liquid Pog for me. Passion it could. fruit orange guava. Passion That's fruit orange guava. Papaya. You might remember all of this better if I tell you that Addy Tooney is my partner in crime and he's the one who invited you to come hang out with us. He also gave me your address and your favorite nicotine level so I could mix you some of my best recipes. I guess we can say I come highly recommended. You do. from If you come from Addy Tooney... You're in. You're in. You're Highly in. recommended. Again, thank you very much for joining us on Saturday. And if you wouldn't mind showing the poster on camera and telling people it's to check out my Instagram at 
queer your vape, but it's queer underscore your underscore vape for details about the pride raffle. It would be amazing. Oh, and tell them they should join us live on Fresh O3's YouTube channel this Saturday, June 29th, 9 a.m. Eastern time. They can donate for a chance to win lots of cool prizes and help homeless children at the same time. How do you not want to help homeless children? There's if only you do. don't want to help homeless children, you're a monster. Yeah, there's only do. There's no do there not. There is no do not. There is only do. You read that really good. Take care. I'm sending you lots of rainbow unicorn kisses and talk to you soon in person. Cecile. Eric Vinyl and Vapor gets a kick out of that every time. Cecile. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, I mean, Cecile's in here. She's in the chat. Thank you, Cecile. Thank you so much. Um, this is fantastic. So yeah, tomorrow, this is not tomorrow. This is this Saturday, June 29th, 9 a.m. on the Fresh 03 YouTube. There's going to be a big pride raffle going on. Definitely come out. I'm going to pop on, I believe, on June 29th. I'm not sure what time, but I'm definitely going to be there because of course, why would you not want to help homeless kids? You do. You do. You just Here, this do. Is your hat. So you get to wear it. I'll just throw, show this one more time. The Pride Vaffle. Pride Vaffle, eight hundred percent. Take a screenshot. Show up this Saturday. We're gonna be hanging out, uh, and it's gonna be dope. I kind Smell of. That. I kind of want to try this. Dude. Smell that. Smell it. <sighs> Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> Smell it. Oh, this is the product of baby fucking. Yeah. <laughs> If passion fruit and orange meant, mm. and they fucked, and then they fucked. <laughs> oh, this is good. All right, dang, Pride Pog, I'm on board, 100 percent on board for Pride Pog. Thank you, yes, Cecile, yes, yes. for the care package, for the for the food, for the low rider, for the hat. Oh, there's a hat. Yeah, there's a hat. Put on the hat. See how big my head is. Boom. Whoa. It feels like I have a salad bowl on my head. Your head is gigantic. Hell yeah. What does that mean? <laughs> What's that? You know the old saying, big head. Can't wear a lot of hats. <laughs> <laughs> big head. Hats are difficult. Can I? Oh, this is Velcro. Yeah, you can strap it, dude. I'm going to get my hair caught in it. Nobody look at my hair. I have to wear this hat because it's the rules of the vlog. If a hat comes in, I have to wear it. All right. There we go. Here's what we got for the rest of the night. Awesome. Well, thank you, Cecile. I really appreciate that. Really very, very much appreciate that. And uh, yeah, Saturday, Fresh O3's YouTube. I'll be there. Bunch of people are going to be there. Pride Raffle. Why would you not show up? It's for an incredible cause. Very much, uh, very much appreciate that, Cecile. Um, I don't know. What, what do you feel like you want to do right now? Do you want to do a retro vaping? Or what's my other option? Uh, we could do a retro vaping. We could do a liquid tasting. Should we? We're gonna do both of those things eventually. Anyway, does one coincide with the other? Should should we? No. Is the am I, am I? In fact, we can throw this pog. Am this I pride rewicking pog on the retro a, a retro vape? You're gonna be rewicking a retro vape. Okay, yeah. let's do that. Let's do retro vaping, you guys. Retro vaping, actually, you can just throw this here. That's fine. Just leave it here. I'm going to put it on this no, tote. Just put there's it a tote. Wait, just, oh, wait, there's a card. Yeah, don't read that, though. Oh, to read off camera. Okay. I'm going to put this card in a safe place. You know here. what? Look at this tote. This thing pays for itself. Yeah, dude, you can put your groceries in here yeah. and not have I'm to worry about to them Trader falling Joe's. out. Go so get some more Scandinavian skimmers. <laughs> Scandinavian swimmers. <laughs> Just keep one under your Just tongue. Keep <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. All right. So it's we have a retro vaping today, and I actually have a little bit of a backstory um, behind this retro vaping. Um, I went to Nashville, Tennessee recently with Kent and Dwayne. Did you have hot chicken? I did have hot chicken. Ooh, it was good. I was into it. I got a hot chicken t shirt from the t shirt from the place, from the place we went to get hot chicken. Mm. Yeah. And so we went to this, uh, we went to Vapor USA, shout out to Vapor USA in Clarksville, Tennessee. Um, but I, one of the dudes that I met there at, in Clarksville, I just like his name, Patrick Conquest. 
Oh, I met this dude Patrick. Last name. Is that uh, his real last name? It was so, yeah, so dope, right? Conquest. So I met Patrick, and it was a funny story with like Patrick. Like he he commented on my Instagram post, and he's like, "Oh, I live in Nashville. I'm not going to be able to make it. God, I'm so bummed." And I'm like, "What a bummer, bro. Like, fuck, that sucks." And then he's like, "I can make it." And so he he got a ride to the wrong store. Like oh, to the wrong man. Vapor USA store. So he's just sitting there in front of a closed store. Just waiting for just people waiting to show up. <laughs> for people to show up. Nobody shows up. And then so he realizes he's at the wrong Vapor USA. So he calls the right Vapor USA. They get someone goes over and gets oh, him. Oh, that's pretty cool. Brings him over. So it was this whole huge big thing. Anyway, I met this dude Pat and he's awesome. Super cool. We talked about metal. He's a big Guar fan. And so he was asking about um this retro vape that we have tonight. He was asking about it. He said, I've always wanted one and I've never been able to get one and you can't find them anymore. And I said, Patrick, I'm going to go home. I'm going to find this and I'll send it to you. And so we're going to send this to Patrick conquest after this retro vaping, but I had to use it in a retro vaping first. Let's do it. I don't know what it is. Um, It's a Mac mod. Have you ever used an arsenal? No Mac mod. Whoa. Have you ever seen those? The Arsenal? Yes. Yeah. They're from, uh, I want to say like 2013. 2013. Be yeah, careful it has when a you, pin in it, be, so you know it it's old. It has a pin in it. Yeah, you, yeah, it has a pin in it, so you know it's old. Oh, it has and the it's got old that screw. Yeah, double the, screw yeah, pin. Yeah, you have to get it just right. Yeah. Or else just you have a right. gap in between that Here, top. I'm going to take this over to the camera. I'm going to see if you can get a little bit more up close. Because it's just so cool. Can you see this? Focus on me. There it is. Gotta get out of the way. There's the arsenal right there. And it's there's holes all over it. All over it. Just vent holes. Vent holes all over it. All over it. Let's do it. What are we going to top it with? Oh, so man. I figured, you know, because... Because this, because this mod is from that era, 2012, 2000. 2012, 2013, right. 2013 era. Wow. Careful, there's an O-ring in here that always falls out. That's where your battery sits. Okay. okay. I figured we kind of needed something of the same era to vape on top of it. So I grabbed a Tugboat V2. All right. Are there that, coils in um, here already? There are. There are coils in it already. Oh, shit. Oh, this is the top. Okay, there we go. So we have a green tugboat V2. Damn, 22 millimeter RDAs look so tiny nowadays. I know. And look how tall that drip tip is. You can just it's shove that enormous. to the back of your throat. It's enormous. Oh, okay. So these aren't too bad. I thought they were like one millimeter coils, but they're not. They're like three millimeter coils. No, yeah, dude. Those, that's three. Well, here, here's your tools. I mean, let me get you a battery. Do, 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 do. You can put a green Sony VTC battery in it. All right. Scares yeah, you're going to have to adjust the pins. Yeah. Setting up setting up an old mech mod that had the double pins in the top, had that 510 pin, and it had two like adjustment pins to take up for battery rattle. It was always, always, always like this huge pain in the ass. Huge pain in the ass to deal with the dual pins and adjusting for your battery rattle and things like this. Thankfully, I mean, you don't deal with that in any capacity on something like the Keen. No. There's nothing to adjust. It's all constant contact, spring-loaded, Delrin sleeve on the inside, hybrid 510 connection. Like People talk about mech mods and mech mods being bad or dangerous, but mech mods have come a long What is this made out of? Steel? Way. Yeah, stainless steel. You can screw a hose into that. Look how deep yeah. and giant those threads yeah, are. Yeah, the threads are enormous. You can throw... <laughs> You could thread a hose in there. You could thread a garden hose. Yeah, a garden hose. hose. Yes, you could. All right. Huge threads. So I'm going to let Beecher rewick this. I'm going to let Beecher struggle with it. Did you lose the O ring? No, the it's in there. still there? Okay. Okay, you're good. Yep. Look at to... that. That is insane. Those threads are huge. Huge threads. To this day, those are the biggest threads I've ever seen on a mech mod. 
Okay, we're okay. good. We're cooking it's firing. with gas here. It's yeah, firing. You just got to adjust that it's pin firing. again. Yeah, you have to adjust the pin again. That was the thing with these pins on these old mech mods. It was like, it was trial and error. 100%. We're just going to keep it at that for you now. You just would adjust it a little bit, screw it down, and be like, oh, there's a gap. Unscrew it, adjust it a little bit, screw it down. Oh, still a gap. Unscrew it, adjust it a little bit, screw it down. Oh, there's still a gap. Unscrew it, adjust it a little bit more, screw it down. Oh, there's still a gap. Yeah, there, I'm leaving it. the gap on here right now, and That's I'll fine. adjust it here in a, in a second. I was just going to keep going until you interrupted me. <sighs> Is that just tobacco, Joe? And boom, already glowing even? Yeah, they should be glowing even. It should be like a 20... 22 or 24 gauge anarchist is the button getting warm no it's not this is a 24 you can tell just from looking just from looking at you're he's so good coil turds eyes are so fine-tuned that he can just look at wire look at this just know what it is boom already got it it's not a competition. I want a quality over quantity because we're going to have to vape this. Do you know how many times I've done this? So we have an uh, uh, an Arsenal mod, an Arsenal mod topped with the Tugboat V2. Coil Turd's wicking it up right now. Just the best that I've ever... Shout out to Sidewalks for keeping me off the street. Wow, you are doing this really fast. Told you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing a bang up job and we are going to taste this uh pride pog pride pog on top of it yeah from cecile cecile shit that smells good yeah it does dang that there's smells nicotine good in there right yeah there's nicotine it's three milligram did you ever vape did you vape to tugboat v2 oh yeah all the time all day long daily Daily. My daily banger. Round wire build? Because that's all you could put on there. Yep. 30 gauge. Yeah. I'd so. love to see him do another tugboat. Why don't they do a tugboat, a new tugboat that's actually good instead of a terrible tugboat like the V3 was? Uh, I, I, I don't know. Why don't you know the answers to this, Beecher? It's pretty good. Beecher got this set up in record time. <laughs> like, I've never set up something that quickly. Just bring me on. The vlogs will run exactly two hours long. Exactly two <laughs> hours long. Yeah. Exactly two hours long. We are not going a minute over two hours tonight. Not one minute. Maybe one minute. Probably a lot more than that. I don't know. I have shit to do today. <laughs> <laughs> this, this Is this MTL? I know, right? No, it's not. It's not MTL. I'll let you take the first toot on it since you built it. I got to adjust this real quick. You got to adjust the pin. You can't deal with the gap, huh? No. You had to slowly, 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 slowly get rid of that gap. Thank God. Is there always going to be a gap? That's good. I'd say you're good. Is it firing? Yeah, it's firing. Check Arsenal with a green matchy Sony VTC5 in there. Green tugboat V2. Just (sighs) retro vaping. What is this? 2013? How is it? It's pretty good. The vape's pretty good? Yeah. How's the how does it, it almost overall? tastes like bubble gum? Really? This liquid? Just to hit like I don't know, maybe it's just everything combined into one. All right. Let's see how it goes. Tell me. Yeah, I get I don't get bubble gum from it. At the finish, you don't get bubble gum at all. I get a little bit of well, maybe a little bit of bubble gum. I get guava. This tastes like guava. Just yeah. guava all over my face. Guaved it. Like guava nation. Yeah. It's guava up the butt. Yeah, that's pretty good. I actually really like that Tugboat V2 Airflow. Not me. You don't like it? No. Too restricted? Yeah. Is it too restricted? I'd actually like a hotter build with that Airflow. You want less Airflow with a hotter build? Yeah, just... That's Magma ridiculous. Babe. But this Arsenal, it's hitting pretty hard. Here, I'll let you hit it again. How comfortable is it on a scale of 1 to 10? The feel in the hand? Yeah. Zero. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like holding a... Just my a lump belt. of... <laughs> you going to take it? It's like holding my dick. My belt. You going to take it? With my belt. It's pretty good. 
It still rips. That still Airflow rips. isn't bad. It's not bad. And 22 gauge, I mean... 24. This, 24. I don't, I mean, I say this a lot. It's kind of vaping just as good as anything I have set up right now. What? It vapes just as good. It vapes just as good as your RDA. No, it does not. 100%. 8,000%. 8,000%, 8, yes. Well, here's the thing. I didn't ever really love this Arsenal mod because it was, I don't know, it's a bit of an acquired thing. Like It's never going to fall you, out of your hand. In, it's never going to fall. <laughs> it's never going to fall out of your hand. Never going to fall out of your hand. But unless you want to hold something that's so rigid, jagged and rigid and clunky, and it's supposed to look like, you know, um, army, army, like the military, the military sort of rifle. Yeah. Barrel, whatever you call it. Thing. I think it looks dope and I like the holes. I just wish it wasn't so flat and then dip and then flat. And then yeah. Dip and like if your hands were really sweaty and you flung that thing around, it would never fall out. It would never fall out of your hand. No, there's never you would never drop this. Never. It just sticks. And you've seen it all. You've seen it all. And it honestly... Here, vape it again. Okay. It honestly... Should I pair it with this beard? And it see how, still... See I feel it's like, like it's hitting pretty hard, even considering those coils. Can we... Can't drip right through this. No, you can't. You can't. You could. I mean, you could. I'm going to do it. You could try. Oh, he's going in. Oh, can't dude, that's good. It. Right through the... Right through the... Right through the hole. I don't know if that works. Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> Smell it. Smell it. <laughs> no big deal. You just have to take a full 30 second drag. Yeah. If that was regulated, it would have turned off already. Oh my God. Are you actually hitting that? That was like 13 seconds. I have competition level lungs, bro. Competition level lungs. Comp lungs. Comp lungs. Well, Patrick, this is going to soon be on its way to you within a matter of days. I'm going to ship this out to you first thing Monday. But uh, yeah, it, it is what it is. I mean, it's the arsenal. You can, you might even still be able to find them somewhere. You think these are on Should fast tech? Yeah, try to Google it. See where you can pick up an arsenal. I would send you the Tugboat V2 on top as well, Patrick, but I'm kind of sentimentally attached to it. Arsenal mech mod. <coughs> totally spelled arsenal wrong, but Google's on its on uh, its game. That was dry. Now here we go. First thing that pops up. It's vaping awesome. Patrick, you'll be stoked on this. Vaporway USA? Do they sell still sell the Arsenal? Arsenal? Is this even called the Arsenal? Arsenal mods. Arsenal mods. Yeah, but this you can't this was old school. You're not gonna be able to find it's hot. Feel how hot it is. Oh, oh it's it hot. Pretty warm. It's warm. Because it's made out of steel. It's made out of stainless steel. It just retains all that heat. That's like that's probably why it has so many holes. You could probably find it. that at Home Depot. Just a tube. You know, just we sell these in the hardware section. <laughs> just a tube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's a mag. Uh, I don't see. Is this the same brand? No. No? It's a different brand. I don't think you're going to be able to find it's it. It's funny that you, the, there was a video of you on the front page of this. Yeah. Well, it's because they sent me that ridiculous stacked mod that I vaped for like a day. Arsenal Vape Co. Arsenal. No, that's the same one, I think. It looks like with the, the same crosshairs. Logo. Is this isn't this called an arsenal? I really thought it was called an arsenal. I'm gonna look in the chat to see if anybody's correcting me. Uh, just watching Grim Green and Veacher bait my pog and just smiling silly. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I, it's really good. Pride pog. AR mod. Oh, AR. Thanks, Ruby. AR mod. It's not called the arsenal. I've been saying Arsenal this whole time. It happens. Oh, I feel so dumb. AR mod by TAC mods. 
There you go. Correct. Thank you, chat, uh, for Holy proving me wrong. Shit. Price tag on this. What's the price tag on it? One hundred and eighty dollars. One eight zero. Whoa. One eight zero. Yeah, Vapor Hub. Whoa. They're sold. They're out of stock. I don't want that. Oh, and then you go to this next site, and they're twelve dollars. Okay. <laughs> so you can pick one up for either one hundred and eighty, anywhere or, between twelve and one hundred and eighty dollars. Yeah. Here's a site. Uh, one forty. Here's one for thirty five. All right. Well. Patrick's getting one. I'll get this out to you, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you for the Pride Pog liquid. Uh, and don't forget about that raffle. Saturday, Fresh O3's YouTube channel coming out swinging with some dope shit. So, what time is it? Oh, it's almost 6 o'clock. You want to do a random liquid tasting? Of course I do. Do you? Should I grab it? Do you have it? No, I have you it. have it. Ready? Go. Liquid. Le quid tasting. This uh, AR mod weighs in at 186 grams <laughs> or 6.6 6 ounces without see, the battery. I'm trying to face your Bole Bolu bottles out here for like some, you know, some. Food. Oh, yeah, there we go. Because you can't find it in the U.S. Yeah. So here's some more advertising. So we have a liquid to taste today. Um, and what I had done before Beecher got here yeah, was I one. set aside like five liquids. And I said, Beecher, pick one for the random liquid tasting. Yeah. So this is Beecher's choice. I picked it because oh. it doesn't have a flavor profile on the box. It so doesn't. So it was kind of, I, the other it's ones did. It's called a Femme Fatale <laughs> Differ. So this is from differvape.co.uk. Very it's edgy. Femme Fat Real edgy. This this hipster chick with the transparent She's boobies. Goth. That's, that's is this, goth. Is this, is this goth? You would yeah, say that's goth. goth. You're goth. She's wearing fishnet shirt with black tape over her nipples. Yeah, that, that's goth. And she has a shit ton of black eyeliner. It's called on. Femme Fatale. Yes. And it's only described as bright crystal. That's, that's why I picked it because you we don't even know. Bright crystal. So here we go. Bright crystal. The thing is, this is from the UK. So it requires a, a nick shot. A nick shot. I have a fun. P Vapor Penguin nick shot. I'm going to let... Uh, Come back in an hour. I'll have the top off. Oh, yeah. We're going to need a tool, huh? Uh, just bite it off. You're going to bite it off? No, there's... No, no, no. Coming this. That. You need to get that off. Oh, those are easy. Oh, okay. Well, then you can oh, do that it. That was uh, way easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> um, you can just throw trash on the ground. That's what I do. We'll clean it up later. Oh, wait, this has a... Oh, no, this doesn't have a flavor description on it. What does it smell like? What does it smell like? It smells like orange. Orange? Like... Tops off. <laughs> no shit. Like an orange, like a, like a freshly sliced orange. It smells like orange and suntan lotion. It smells like nicotine. <laughs> does it? What does nicotine smell like? Old clothes. Wow. Really accurate. Wow. Wow. Okay, I'm just pouring this in there. We just Old need clothes, one, right? Joe. Yeah, just one, Joe. <laughs> in it goes. In it goes. And this is going to make us a three milligram blend. You see, in the UK, where they like vaping, they have short fills, so you can buy... 120 mils of liquid and then just throw in a 10 mil nick shot and vape vape your face off i think this actually makes it 1.5 milligrams because usually two nick shots go in 120 mil hundred, short fill hundred, a hana a hana a hundo hundred this is a hundred this is 100 mil yeah so two of them right yeah here i don't know that. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Get what we're going to be tasting it on. So, uh, as per usual, what we're going to be tasting it on is the Mike Vapes Recurve RDA. I have a Coil Turd. Uh, nope. Turk Alien in here. It's been freshly wicked. It's sitting on top of the Asmodus Luna Squonker because I've just been missing this Squonker. So, if this liquid. <laughs> 
Make, try to make eye contact with the camera when you're doing that, at least. If this liquid is good enough, if it's up to par, if it's up to my taste buds, it's going to go in the bottle and I'm just going to keep lo- using this Luna. But if not... This is for Thomas Crow. <laughs> good job. Well done. Deathcore? Jared, Deathcore? That's Beecher's favorite musical genre. Shake weight? Metalcore. Okay, okay, okay. I'm just reading the comment. Okay, Beecher. Thanks, Anthony. So Get first me in trouble. First, you knuckle it. It's chilled. It's an orange, right? Orange cream. Yeah, it's chili. Just a little There's bit, though. There's or something in there. All right. Well, tastes like an or- orange creamsicle almost. A little bit. It tastes better than I kind of thought it was going to be. I mean, no offense to Femme Fatale e-liquids. Hope he doesn't get a facial. Shh, be quiet. Shh. How is it? it it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> The secondhand vapor is not great, but it's still good. It's not bad. <laughs> Give me another one. Um, all right, so. Come on, Mike. Mike vapes here. Oh. Sup, peeps. Mike, I take it back. Your RDA sucks. I'm just kidding. I'm just. Just, just kidding. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have a poll, and then you can have a poll. Okay. Where's the button on this? Just kidding. <laughs> That's not bad. It's not bad, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, I'm, uh, we're going to sit back and vape this for just a hot minute, and then we're going to come back and talk about it. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. Okay, so we've been vaping this liquid, and I think where I'm landing on it is I love it. It's awesome. I, it's a great liquid. I want to put it in the bottle, hands down, 100%. I agree. I could vape this, and I'm not a 
I'm not a cool otter or a chill or a menthol, how would you whatever. It? How would you describe it? How would you um, describe this liquid? Okay, so if you're eating uh, a slice of gum, and this is coming from a chef, like a slice of, uh, you know, like a like a is this wintergreen or spearmint? This is wintergreen. Wintergreen. So it's if you're eating a, a slice of wintergreen gum, slice. Yeah. Who and calls it a slice? A slice, just one slice out of the pack. Nobody you can do two if you want, but sticks. And then you and then you're chomping on it, but you had an orange cream sickle. And then you spit the gum out real fast, and then you ate a bite of that cream sickle, the That's orange cream sickle. That's what it tastes like. Yes. Yes. It's it's kind of exactly that. It's like a orange cream sickle. If you're having aversion to culotta or menthol or minty or cooling sensations, then you're probably not going to be super into this. I happen to like culotta a lot. Yeah, but it's so chill. But the, yeah, though. the culotta in this is like, huh, it's like it's a whisper. It's just a whisper. Culotta. Yeah, the right there. It's that. Because normally when I try it's, like culotta that. vapes. That's the first thing you get. You're like, okay, this is yeah, like, cool. Oh, I'm frozen. And then you taste the actual flavor of yeah, it. This one's this, more flavor first, and then just just a tickle on your tongue. This is like, oh, you ate a creamsicle. Oh, and it's a and little a slice chill. of wintergreen and a slice <laughs> of gum. <laughs> that makes no sense. I hate that because I'm gonna start using. That just think now. about it. Slice of gum. You got slice a slice of gum. Of gum? Hey, can I get a slice? Can, I, can of gum? you spare a slice? Can you spare a slice? Hook me, hook a brother up with some slice. You said that to somebody. You never get one. No, even if they like, were holding this gum guy? in their hand. You'd yeah. Be like, hey, can you spare a slice? They'd be they like, push it right back into the pack. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're not slices. Just of gum. a tickle. I really like this. Yeah. It's called Femme Fatale Bright Crystal. It's from uh, the UK. The brand is. Uh, You'll never know. I'll never know now. I think the brand Bright is Crystal. Femme, Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale. Femme Fatale Bright Crystal. Just search for it. Femme Fatale Bright Crystal. It's like an orange cream sickle with a little bit, with just a whisper. Whisper. Culotta. Culotta. Just a whisper of culotta. I love it. I'm putting it in the bottle. Yeah, that's a down. good one. I might uh, re-wick and vape this tonight. Really? You yeah. like it that much? I like it. I'm putting it in the bottle and vaping it tonight myself. How would Mike Vape say culotta? Culotta. That was good. Culotta. Yeah. That's how we'd With say the it. Emphasis. Culotta. Just bang. Culotta. How would Jay bang. Hayes say it? I don't know. Culotta. I don't know. He's got <laughs> that, you know, I can't do a Jay Hayes impression because he has such a distinct, unique voice. I can't do a Jay Hayes impression. That's good. It's really good. It's shockingly good. And this is one of those things like I like being surprised by liquids. You know, we talk about we've been talking about I only vape one thing. Yeah. I only vape one liquid. And that's it. And then once in a while, bro, would you have ever picked this up or bought this bottle of liquid? No. Femme Fatale. No. No. Never. No. Never. I would have never bought this. No. Simply based on the branding. Which, it, it's fine. It's just not for me. I, I don't feel, see any appeal to it. No. But what happens to be on inside... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Take the, take the label off of it. Rip the label off of this. You're good to go. I think it's great. Femme Fatale is a winner. This is the biggest winner of a liquid vlog that's been a winner in a really long time. The uh, room is extremely foggy. It's a vape stream. It's a vape stream and you yeah. got two you dudes expecting? sitting on a couch yeah, vaping. Yeah. What were you expecting? No, I'm reading the comment. I don't care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and a piece of pie. Yeah, it is foggy in here. That's okay. We only have uh, we only got a go only got a few minutes left. All right, so there you go. That's the vlog. That's Liquid it. tasting. Femme fatale. Thumbs up. Yeah, definitely. Eight hundred percent thumbs up. Eight hundred percent thumbs up. So what I guess we're gonna do now? Let's do favorite comments of the week. Bang. <laughs> Really satisfying. Press that audio button. Oh. Press it all the way in. Oh. Oh, oh no, you did that again. That's okay. Um 
Yeah, so we're here to do some uh, we're here to do some favorite comments of the week. And if I did this all correctly, we should be able to go like this and like this. Oh, brilliant! You have this down. I am a genius, Beecher. How many First, times have you done this? Live vlog like this? Yeah, like with a person. No, how many once? No, how many times have you done a vlog? Do you know? A live vlog? No, just a vlog in general. How many vlogs have there been? I couldn't. It, they've been going on since 2013. So a vlog a week Shit. since 2013. That's how you many have it done. Vlogs. It's good. Hundreds. I love it. Hundreds. 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 Okay, so now that we're all tiny here, let's take a look at the first favorite comment of the week. I'm going to try to read these off the screen here. Uh, yo, yo, Nick, can you reshoot the video without that piece of white lint on your black shirt, please? I could not pay attention to anything else. In fact, I don't even know what you just reviewed. We need a do-over. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> That's fine. I mean, I mean, that's fine. So I did one video and I saw it the whole time. As soon as I sat down to edit, I pulled up the video and I was like, fuck. Like there's just a white. It's like from a sock. Like Outrage. A perfect white dot on my shirt. And it was there the whole video. And I'm editing this video and the whole time I'm thinking, Nick, just accidentally wipe it off. Like do a motion that will get rid of that. Oh, it never went away and I had to upload it to YouTube anyway. So I apologize, but nope, no more do overs. Second favorite comment of the week. I love the sound when you hit your mic stand. I don't know why. Like punch it. Like that. Um, this is for Eric Vylon vapor. This is for flying ace. Yeah. This is the, our Eric Vylon vapor oh, impression. Oh, oh. Didn't, I didn't know this was in front of me. <laughs> Microphone. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Eric. I'm just kidding. Um, you might be the only one, Flying Ace. You might be the only one that enjoys that sound. Third favorite comment of the week. Okay, oh. this is a... Uh, Can you see that? This is a monster, and I can't read it right now, so I'm going to wait until it shows up on this screen. Okay. I'm going to wait for the delay. So everybody can, here we go. For the record, uh, I'm against Tobacco 21. I'm against it because I'm against most legislation in general, regardless of its goals. But Nick, your logic is flawed. Okay, Brian's here to correct me. Your logic is flawed based on your two points contradicting each other. On one hand, you say that people will smoke regardless of the laws, and I agree with you on that. On the other hand, you say that Tobacco 21 will prevent smokers aged 18 to 20 from being able to transition to vaping if they would like to. Please see point one. If they can get their hands on tobacco, then they can get their hands on a vape. To sum it up, I don't believe Tobacco 21 will do anything to prevent smoking or vaping in the 18 to 20 age group. It's a feel-good bill, nothing thing more. That is, uh, yeah. That's halfway true. That's halfway true. Because those people, it's going to deter some people from getting a it's vape. It's going to deter a lot of people from yeah, getting so a vape. Yeah, so someone that's 19 might just say fuck it. The problem is... The people that this law is intended for, it won't affect. Right. And the people that this law is not intended for, it will affect. Right. So the average, like, Dave, the smoker, who wants to go get a vape, a law-abiding citizen 20 years old, right. he's not going to break the law. Right. And he's going to continue to smoke. That's what I'm saying. But the people that are already determined to do it, they're already going to break the law. They're yes. already... Anybody who's 18 or older should be able to go buy it. Yes. If you put it to 21, some of those people aren't going to do it. Yeah, some of those people aren't going to do it. Right. At all. So just saying that, oh, you know, I was 16, 17, I got cigarettes. Yeah. That's just not a way to compare it because you yeah, want you it can. to be free and open to yes. anybody who's an adult. An adult. At what age are we an adult now? older. Did you feel like an adult at 18 years old? Of course I did, but I was 18 I years not. old. I felt stupid. I thought I was the smartest fucker in the world. I did not. I, I was like, I'm out. Like I don't feel like an adult. I'm gonna get now. blackout drunk. Do you feel like an adult now? No. No. I have, a, all, I have right? adult bills. Yeah, I got a lot but of I don't adult feel problems. Like an adult, but like, I'd rather just watch cartoons. Yeah, me too. I don't feel like an adult. So I, I didn't feel like an adult. Joe, <laughs> Joe, I didn't, I didn't feel, feel, like, like, I didn't an feel like an adult at eighteen. Dude, Joe. Just voice getting raspier you know and raspier. I know that. We've seen the human pig hybrids. You've seen them. I've seen them, Joe. Don't act like that. I'm just a dumbass bug. You've seen them. I've seen them. In Texas, you know they're killing the babies, and the governor says, "Oh, we're gonna." You know. Anyway, I, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I agree with you. Tobacco Twenty One is really just a mission accomplished, useless law that's not going to accomplish anything. It's not going to deter people from vaping. It's not going to deter people from smoking. It's just a 
Good job. Pat yourself on the back. Hey, we did something even though we didn't really do anything. We just feel like we did yeah. something. Yes. There we go. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, number four, for British Eyes Only. This was actually from the chat last uh, last vlog. He said, I've got a beer. I've got an RTA to rebuild. And I've got many things to vape. An empty bladder and an appetite for a vlog sandwich. I just like that. I just like that term vlog sandwich. We have to we have to try that too. Eat a vlog sandwich. Eat it. Eat it. Dis. Eat it, you piece of... <laughs> piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> All right, uh, another favorite comment of the week. Good time Java commented. I'm so glad to find out that you guys have been uh, saying Niagara wrong on purpose. It almost made me unsubscribe. So... Yeah, we say, we say Niagara. We don't say Niagara. We always say Niagara. Are you, are you adding letters? This? I don't know why this started. It's because we went to that we went to a vape show in Niagara Falls this is a few years ago, right? A few years ago. Still my favorite vape show. Went to a vape show in Niagara Falls and it was me and Ruby and Matt and V and for some reason, I don't know if Matt and V were in on it, but me and Ruby Ru just kept saying Niagara Falls. Instead of Niagara. And it's stuck. And it's stuck. And it's pissing people and we off. Keep so stop it. Ni- Niagara Falls. Just Niagara. Stop. It almost made her unsubscribe. That's unbelievable. Maybe. That's unbelievable. Second to last favorite comment of the week. I love the bone zone. Grim Green, your homie, the bone zone, has always got your back. Thank you, bone zone. Bone zone. I appreciate I that. I really bone like zone. that name. It's a great name. The bone the zone. The bone zone. <laughs> I, I oh know my the god, zone. that's great! I know the bone zone from uh, Matt Cully's stream. Matt, when I was on Matt Suck My Mod or SMM now, when I was on his live stream, I got to meet the bone zone. The bone zone made his way over to the Grim Green YouTube, and I couldn't be happier. Bone zone, the Grim Green YouTube is a better place with you in it, and I want you to know that I appreciate that. Thank you, Bone Zone. Last favorite comment of the week. This one's a whopper, so I'm gonna wait a second. You got this for the lag. You got this, and then I'm gonna read it. I don't got this. Niagara this is, is how it's spelled, one. dummies. <laughs> Thanks, Ruby. Oh, see, I'm not even going to be able to. Uh, can we zoom in on this? Nope. Nope. All right. All right. <sighs> Susan. Thank you, Susan, for this. Nick, deep breath time. Do you know what keeps me sane in all of this government lunacy? Great Britain. You and I have been here for a while, so think back to 2012, 2013. Back then, against the positive vaping research going on in other parts of the world, Great Britain was going to ban vaping. One company, Wicked, fought back, and others joined her fight over the years, and now look, and look at Great Britain now. Probably the most influential pro-vaping nation in the world with some of the most cutting-edge technology, proving the validation of vaping. I say to people, don't hide your vape. Don't act as if don't act as if you are doing something wrong. Instead, in civil tones that is this that is saving your life, don't argue or explain unless you say consider the source of anti-vaping and big money is involved. Please because that makes you sound as you are making excuses. Yep. Vape proud. Vape proud. Yep. Vape, vape proud. I'm a uh, I'm a huge believer in that. I vape very proudly. Yeah, me too. 100% proudly. When anybody ever asks about it, I say 10 years I've been off cigarettes. Yeah. 10 years. 10? 10 years I've been off cigarettes. I think I'm at eight. That's awesome. A month is awesome. Six months is awesome. Yeah. Every day that you're not smoking horrible, cancer-causing, COPD-causing, emphysema-causing cigarettes... Death. is a good day death, death causing. causing cigarettes yep is a good day yeah and so days turn into weeks weeks turn into years years turn into more years and before you know it it's like oh i've been smoke free a decade now yeah when do i not become an anecdote right when do you not become an anecdote mm, i asked myself that <laughs> I don't even know. All right. Well, that's going to do it for uh, favorite comments of the week. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out this week. It's uh, We got about 10 minutes now, and I am going to uh, loosen things up a little bit. We're just going to jump over to the super chat, oh. and we're going to do some super chatting with you guys. Hope everybody had a, uh, a fun night tonight. Looks like we had some super chats. We're going to go with uh, monochromin. 
With Domino. With Domino. Wow, I really can't zoom in on this? Wow. 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 Monochroman with Domino. People who hit dislike probably have Yelp accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, oh my if god. If you're here, if you're here live, uh just hit that like button. I really appreciate it if you hit that like button. Um ZS Benedict, hello and yo yo Nick and Beecher. Well, hey, what's hello up? to what's you. Happening? ZS. Lou Gora. Yo yo, much love as always, Lou. Thank you, Lou Lou. Lou Gora is the bass player of a sludgy doom metal band called Sour Vein. Doom metal. Yeah. I haven't listened to doom metal like in a long time. Sludgy doom metal. Yeah, just doom. Yeah, sludgy dun. doom metal, sour vein. And they should listen awesome. to it. Yeah, Lou and Sour Vein came through San Diego like two years ago. And he's like, hey, I'm in San Diego. I was like, fuck, I'm coming. So we went to the show. We saw Sour Vein play. It was dope. awesome. We should, we so should listen dope. to that. We will. We'll listen to some Sour Vein tonight. Uh, JC Person. Uh, can my wife and I get a shout out? Her name is Rachel and I've been vaping for five years and she has been vaping for a month and a half. Keep it up, babe. Awesome. Keep it up. Hell yeah. Awesome. Wow. Keep it up. Oh, yes. Shout I've always out wanted to, you, to do this. Rachel. Yeah. See, now you're fist bumping. J-Dub vapes. Very gracious of you. Fist bump away, buddy. How about Bam. a dual fist and... I love how you whatever. zone it in like yeah. this. Zzz- 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 punch it through the screen. Fist bump. Yeah. Anime lines like happen. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Logan exhales. How you doing, man? At the drive-ins with the kids tonight. I'll catch the replay. Much love and have a great stream tonight, both of you. Thank you, Logan. Very gracious of you. Really appreciate that. Stan. I like that. Tenacious VX Vapes. Those Keens, though. Turd, I need that RDA. I seen it in real life. Super cool. Stan. I've seen it. I vaped it in real life. 100%. And thank you for releasing this mech. Yeah, Since Keen, I got it in the UK, it's Keen's been an every day. These two mods every single day. This does not leave my side. I love this thing. It's the Keen. I had a Keen. So here's a story. I shot a Keen review, and I didn't like the way it turned out, so I shot another Keen review, and I didn't like the way it turned out, so I shot a third Keen review, and then that news broke about that kid blowing his face off, so now I'm going to shoot a fourth Keen review. With safety, a With lot more safety. A lot there. more emphasis on safety, right. and we're going to talk about this this kid uh, blowing his teeth out cool. a little bit as I like well. That. But it's just one of those like things, like fuck. I spent two days shooting three videos, not to use any, any of, of it. them. Trial and error. God, wasted time. What is that? Wasted time. <laughs> Jmod one eighty, very gracious of you. Twenty three. 23. You always know the answer. It's 23. Vaping with Ken. Very up, gracious Ken? of you. I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. I don't know what he laced them with, but I was tripping all day. Damn. <laughs> I'm going to screenshot that. I like that. Oh, that's a good one, Ken. Seth, uh, very gracious of you. I sent something fancy your way a couple of weeks ago. Yep. Fingers crossed you got it in one piece. Sincerely, Lazy Vapors. Seth, oh. next week in the vlog, we are going to be digging into your Lazy Vapors vape mail. 800%. What's up, Seth? What's up, Seth? 800%. Monochroman with Domino again. Here's it's to Capital 666. Capital 666. <laughs> capital six, six. On your birthday. I'll see I you will too. bring you a birthday gift, Eifer. I, I will make that statement right now. I might not remember your birthday gift, Eifer. I Just feeling, write it down. I have on a your feeling phone. I'm going to forget it. I'm sorry. David. Shout out for the best behind the mines to date. I think you mean inside the mines, but yes, thank you. I had a lot of fun. Everybody go check out Jay Hayes' YouTube. Uh, myself and Dwayne Omboy OC, along with Dash Vapes. We were on uh, Jay Hayes' Inside the Mines yesterday. So fun. So fun. You can't not have fun on a stream with Jay Hayes. You just can't. He's just entertaining and fun. And it makes you have fun. He's full speed. He forces you to have fun. Right. He's like, we're having fun. Have fun. Yeah. We're having fun, Joe. <laughs> Is that just tobacco, <laughs> Joe? All right. We got one more from Eifer. Before I lose a connection temporarily, although it's not technically heavy metal, this... Oh, that's right. The band. Yep. You wrote High it long. I have it on Spotify right now. All right. We're going to listen to it tonight. Another Zach. I know who you are, Pizza Beard. <clears throat> Black licorice menthol. That is all. Yeah. Ugh. Beecher never got to try the black licorice menthol liquid. Thank God. Oh, it's good. I don't know. It's not good. Do you eat black licorice jelly beans? Yes. 
No. I love black licorice. In fact, when I was a child, um, up in Northern California, there was this uh, like rest stop that was like a world famous rest stop called the Nut Tree. And it was like a gift shop and gas station. and The like, Nut Tree. The I nut like that. Tree. Okay. And there were like toys and slides and a gift shop and things. And on your way to San Francisco, it's kind of one of those places you would just stop. You have stop. to stop. You stop. Is there the a gas tree. station? Gas station. Okay. Gift shops. Yeah, yeah. It's like a big thing. The yeah. Nut Tree. The Nut Tree. The Nut Tree. Well, the Nut Tree used to have these candies there that I've never seen anywhere else. And they were called Tar Bars. Ready? Tar bars. Tar bars. And it was about the size of this mod. Oh my God. It was like a bar of soap and size. It was a bar of soap sized brick of just black licorice chunk. Like the most dense black licorice chunk of chunk. So what do you do with it? Just lick the you side of it? You couldn't even bite through it. It was like biting into like a pill. Like it was like biting into like an like an Abba Zabba. Like an Abba Zabba. But a thick like ass folded Ab- over Abba on Zabba. a thousand times. Yeah, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. Break your teeth. Yeah, so you just... Just suck on the outside of it. And you form it into like this A cone. Point. And then you stab your heart with it because it's so disgusting. And it so was just disgusting. black licorice, like black licorice Yeah, I'm, I've never been brain. a black licorice fan. Oh, it's so good. One All day, right, though. Uh, we got to get through these. Uh... Nicotine, very gracious of you. Hey, Nick and Beecher, I am the guy who punched his computer because your subscribers are loyal. Laptop is fine, by the way. Hope you enjoyed your time away from YouTube. That I was a did, great Nicotine. video. That was hilarious. Punch, yeah. <laughs> Punch your computer. He's just like, <laughs> boom, <laughs> bam. <laughs> it was awesome. I'm glad, you're, I'm glad your laptop's okay. I would feel obligated to get you a new laptop if I told you that to punch your laptop and then it broke, so... Chris, very gracious of you. Can I ask you where the name Coil Turd came from? I have a feeling it will be funny. Yeah, did we say this already? We said this already. Yeah. Beach, Beach turd, turd turned into Coil, coil Turd 666. Because Capital. Your, because your buddy said Beach Turd. Beach turd and that's what he just Beach called turd. me. Yeah, and it was easy. I, I can't remember if I talked to him like that same day. I made my Instagram. It was just like, Coil Turd 666. Capital. Why? Yeah, 666. You had to do it. I had to do it. I know you had to do it. That's fine. Metal. Um, David, very gracious of you. Beecher, I want to do a counterclock three counterclockwise 3.5 millimeter wrap for the rebirth, which your stick, which of your sticks is best for flavor. Love the idea of not fighting the posts, which stick for Um, flavor. If it's the rebirth R D a, uh, I mean, they're all good for flavor. It depends on your ohms. If you want the 26 gauge aliens, you're going to ohm out the lowest, uh, like 0.1 ish. Uh, you can go all the way up to the 30 gauge aliens, probably get like a, you can get a high ohm with a single coil on yeah. those. Like, like you can get like a 0. 0.6 if you wanted to. I would go with 27 gauge. 27 gauge. Aliens. Final answer. Depending on which mm. rebirth it is. But yes. There you go. 27s. Vaping with Ken. What's brown and sticky? A stick. <laughs> <laughs> Ken for the win. One more from Eifer. Plays a rim shot for vaping with Ken. Good Lord, that was timed perfectly. Dr. Pennsylvania, what's brown and sticky? A branch. Just not a, saying. Not as funny. Not as funny. If you would have went first, though. If you would have went first, you would have been funnier. Yeah. And then, 100% and then we would have been like, Ken. <laughs> Ken. <laughs> uh, here's another one from uh, Ken Shit. Uh, there it is. When Christian Bale tried to figure out his Batman voice, he was inspired by Mike Vapes. Swear to me. I'm, I'm, Batman. I'm Batman. Swear to me. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Where is she? <laughs> okay. It's not a car. <laughs> yeah. Uh, would the off rough strips work in the TVL reload? I don't see why not. What? I don't know. What are we saying? The reload. Uh, the reload on the TVL reload. So the TVL reload is an RDA. I don't know. I don't know, Eifer. I apologize. I don't know that. I don't know the answer to that. What's OFRF? OFRF, the brand. They make next-gen mesh strips. Oh, no. I don't fuck with that. Yeah, you don't. You're a coil builder. Mesh is your enemy. It's not. It's, it's not? It's not even on the same level. Really? I don't, yeah, I'm just like, Pfft. you just poo poo mesh. Just like Pfft. mesh. Whatever mesh. Get. Yeah. Pfft. I'm better than you, mesh. Get. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right, Ken, I'm tired of juuling while schooling. Why not some Juno and Uno? Do you ever play Uno? Yeah. We're going to play Uno tonight. I'll, 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 yeah. I'll draw for you all night. You won't. I'm amazing. I'll just Uno. save them. I kill at Uno. Back Actually, Casey back. kills at Uno. She's really good at Uno. One Night in Beecher, on sale soon. Thomas Crow, that's the name of your sex tape. Tom Crow. Thank you, Thomas Crow. Appreciate that. Anthony, so ready for NVE. Please come by and see me at the Vapors booth. Love everyone in the Grim Fam. Vape proud. Hell yeah. That's right, Anthony. I'll see you at NVE. NVE. Very gracious of you. Smider Man, I just wanted to let Beecher know that I'm not wearing any pants. Me neither. <laughs> you actually told me I wasn't allowed to wear shorts during the vlog. <laughs> I know, and you still are. Yeah, dude, my knees are hanging out. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Everyone's seen your knees now. If you're going to show your knees, you got to be <laughs> ready for it. For British Eyes Only, uh, sending you the slug tomorrow. You will want to keep it. I got my F B E O F B E O sticker sending you a whole bunch too. Okay. NVE is in two weeks. Yeah. Holy shit, it's in two weeks. Good Lord. Uh, Tony, really appreciate that. Six dollars and sixty-six cents in capital <laughs> sixes. Capital <Yes. laughs> Capital Sixes. I love it. Whenever Michelle Lynn uh sends me a super chat, she always says sends four dollars and twenty cents. And that just every time, makes that's me awesome. So happy. I so cheap happy. out and I only put two dollars every time I do it. No, you do four dollars and twenty cents. Tony, very gracious of you. Love you too, man. I really appreciate that. Carrie. Very gracious of you. Bro, remember the Atomic RDA? I do. 100% I remember the Atomic RDA. Absolutely yeah, I do. Yep. You remember the Atomic? I love the Atomic RDA. Uh, if y'all play Uno on Xbox, I'll join you. No, bro, we do old school. This is cards. You sit cross-legged. Cards in a circle. In a circle. Uno. Draw four. Draw four wild. I'm Reverse. Now it's blue. Uno. God, I love Uno. We're addicted to Uno. We're addicted to Uno in this household. Anyway, here we are at 6.35 p.m. We're coming down to the end of it. This is it. Yeah. This is this is the end. Let's just look at the chat. This is it. All right. Um, Beach, you're thinking for people, coming out. I'm going to tell um, people. Let's do. Let's plug all your stuff. Okay, cool. And for, the, for anybody else that's left here at the very, very end of the vlog... Time has come. The time has come. Um, Coil Turd RDA for vaping is coming out soon. You can't see it, but you can. I don't really care anymore. Uh, coming out soon, a couple months. If you guys want to go to coilturd.com, I have a discount code vlog day, 30% off, excludes bundles because you get a better discount. Coilturd.com goes for everything pre made coils, hats, shirts, liquid, the shebang. The shebang. The whole shebang. Did you. Um was there a code? Yeah, vlog you, Okay, day. so Coil Turd made a code for his website for everybody watching right now, yes. everybody that stayed till the end, you get a coupon code. It's vlog day. Vlog day. All one word. All one word. Vlog day. Coil Turd.com. Coil Turd.com. And it's, uh, yeah, you can use it next week. You can use it in a month. What's the percentage? 30%. 30% off yes. coilturd.com. Use the code vlog, vlog day. day. Thanks for coming out. All one word vlog day. Thank you, Beecher, for thanks the for, coupon yeah, code. Dude, Thank thanks you, Beecher, for, inviting for coming me. out. This has been fucking awesome. This is bucket list. This is bucket list. I remember watching these your your videos years and years ago. Yeah? Yeah. You were just a fan. Yeah. Big fan? Not anymore. Huge fan? I love you. <laughs> 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 all right thanks well uh thanks everybody for coming out um we're gonna wrap this vlog up huge shout out to beecher huge shout out to coil turd for coming out looks like uh, i don't know the video's frozen no it's good thanks uh thanks everybody for coming out and watching um feels good to be back um it's just a little update for myself my dad's doing pretty good um we're closing in on this house uh, it, it, the d-day is going to be in a few days we're yeah. really going to know then if we get this house at which point it's all hands on deck uh, all that I care about is getting this house, taking care of my family, taking care of my dad. That is 100% top priority. I'm going to be on YouTube as much as I possibly can in that time. But just know that my focus is going to be on two things. My family and my cool kid club. And that's it. There we go. And that's what I'm into. Um, the vape team is on tonight. That's what she said is on tonight. Yeah. Uh, we're going to watch it. Yes, and uh, I guess that's all we got for... Yeah, shit. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and as always, 
You want to say it? What do I say? Let's keep on vaping. Keep it up.